Yo, what up? What up, what up? Morning. Morning, morning. Morning, Chat, what, what are the odds that, like, uh, Iron Mace can beat this case? What, what, what do you think the likelihood is? Think it's, like, next to none, or do you think it's, like, actually pretty high? Uh, Iron Case is, like, getting, Iron Mace is getting, like, sued for the D&D &D creators for basically... I think the allege is that they used assets from an old studio that they were part of, Nexon, for the game. I think is what it's getting alleged. And then they broke a non-compete as well, possibly. I don't. I don't know. I had to double check. Mm, it looks like uh, Tim and Nancy. Uh, Tim isn't around today, and Nancy will only be around later today. All right. Is anybody else coming? Um, I'm not too sure. Make some calls. Yeah, lawyers are probably getting paid an insane amount of money. What the fuck is Harry? I'm gonna give him a call. Yeah, that that's kind of that's kind of what I think will happen, um, TBH. The anime MMO <laughs> money, yeah. Is this wrong. it? Is this the squad today? Damn, this is fucking depressing, guys. Yeah. Oh, the, the, it, it, this is actually the squad. This is. I I just called like four people. Is Harry not coming around today? Uh, I have no idea. It's also Lexi's day off, and I just called Marlo, Fiona, Penny, Kitty. What's today? Is today Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday. 
Jesus. Uh, well, I mean, guys, I... I mean, I guess we'll give it a few more minutes. Yeah, Harry ain't picking up either. Yeah, that's what's interesting to me. It's like it seems All like right. they're trying to copyright a genre. You know, um, low-key chant, I kind of want Solomon to uh, bring all eight well, of his people to a meet, to a, uh, one of the I church mean, sermons. the fucking Wednesday. And hand out the Coke. That fucking way. Wednesday, where the like fuck is everybody at? Is it like a fucking holiday that you don't celebrate funny. or what? I, I don't know. Wow, after three weeks, Bucky decided to show up for a meeting. This, now this, is a sight for sore eyes right here. Hey, Bucky. I don't feel welcome at meetings. What? Well, that's a you problem, my man. How long have you been a part of Cerberus now? A couple months. Uh, well, about a year and a half, yeah. Yeah, and imagine it would be non-compete mainly. If they had, if they had a non-compete clause, then they're a Bucky. dumbass. Yeah, you literally run a company for servers. Even though the company died because the cops were fucking morons, but... Let's take your seat, come on. You're always welcome, Bucky. Thank you. How you doing today, Buck? How you doing, Buckstar, yeah. I'm all right. Uh, I want to do that test today if you're available. Uh, yes, 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 yes. And uh, if there's anyone you want to, you know, it, we can turn it into a demonstration if you want, if you have people that you want to show. Uh, we're demonstrating that to nobody right now. We're working on all a right. plan for it first, all right? All righty. Um, where the fuck is everybody at, though? Is this really the day today? Really? Hey, look, I, people hate Wednesdays. Why? I hate it's fucking like, Mondays. It's like halfway to weekend. Uh, yeah, I, I, love, I honestly love Wednesdays and uh, Thursdays. Honestly, my, my, my least favorite day throughout the week was always Wednesdays because Wednesday, it was like, okay, you've already done two days. This is the third day, and there's two more days to go before there's a break. It's like right in the middle, you know? Yeah. If you take off, like, let's say you take off Wednesday, right? Like, somebody that's not here right now, they come back tomorrow, it's Thursday, and then they only have one more day, and it's Friday. It's, like, arguably the best day of the week. Yeah, you're not yeah. coming off of a, a break, and you're not about to go into a break. Also fair, I think. Well, all I know is that the Lakers play in a couple hours, guys. So, uh, yeah. Good luck. You excited? Day today. Yeah, we're, we're about to go up 2-0, and then, uh, you know. You know, I'm going to fly down to uh, Los Angeles, maybe, and, uh, you know, get kicked out of the building and probably uh, arrested. <laughs> <laughs> um, You're going to be at the okay. third game? First game once. No, I'm, I'm going to game four. Game four? I'm also debating. Uh, I got some family that I might try to bring for game three, and then go to two games instead of one. Fuck it, you know. <laughs> Alang, did you see that they, um, Grayson took the psychotic case? Yes, yeah, so what does that mean? I, I guess they're still going ahead with the case. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I mean, good, because, I mean, he's probably going to get... Terrorism question mark? Oh, uh, okay. I mean, listen, the DOJ is a mess, and uh, if yeah. Crane is uh, over, oh wait, you said Grayson's taking it, right? Yeah, Grayson's taking it. Oh, so we actually might have a chance there. Might have a chance there. 
-hmm. On my side, um, I was sorting out um, uh, so while we're waiting for the server stuff on the Aegis app, I was sorting out um, a sheet for everything in terms of if people are going to start doing checks on storefronts for everybody who gets hired on um, and separating all the hubs and everything so people would be able to do that easier. Um, and then if they do that and they find something, they can just open an investigation on it. Uh, so, the app might be delayed a little bit. Uh, the guy uh, was going through some shit, but uh, I think he's still working okay. on it very hard. So. Okay, that's about fine. Some delays to it, yeah. Um, and if Tim is not around today, I'll see if I can schedule some interviews tomorrow. All right, sounds good to me. Uh, I mean, if, if people aren't coming around this morning, I might head out for a little bit and then maybe come back later before the game and see who's around. I don't know. Yeah, I'm only around for probably about three, three and a half hours today. Oh, what the fuck are you doing today, Denzel? I got. I'm. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to chill and hang out with some people in like four hours. <laughs> I don't know how to do describe what? it. Just sh shoot the shit, and I'm going to drink right. some liquor. Right. 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 Some cringe shit, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely some cringe some shit. Cringe like podcast. Yeah. Shit. Definitely some about cringe shit. Fucking low bearing fruit to farm karma. Wouldn't be me. Yes. <laughs> well, guys, uh, yeah, good meeting. Okay. Love you guys. Everybody have a good day. I'll be around. I'm going to head out for a little bit, but I'll be back around later. All right. All right. Sounds good. Is that I want to talk to you, though? You yep. also, let's go to my car. Boxer will uh, do the testing there too, okay? Yeah, whatever you want, just call me. I'll give it a call. But imagine I one up it, John. Imagine that I communicate solely through chat during this podcast. That would be the double down of cringe of the century. What up? Mm. Never mind. I don't know, bring my car here. Okay, we'll take your car. Okay. Ship post true. Facts. <clears throat> Why do you drive this piece? It's got no gas. It's got no gas. It's clean. Jesus fuck. Do you Christ. not remember when we both wanted Emperors, like, way back in the day? Yeah, I did, but those were old fucking days, Denzel. Yeah, but it's a fucking beautiful car. You know what, let's take my fucking DeLorean. I haven't driven that in a minute. For a second. <laughs> I mean, I gotta get a four-seater that's, like, a, a business car. I just, I, I haven't well, gotten I like around to it. I like the car. It's just, the city's just... Yeah, it, it, we're gonna take a six years where I wanna go right now. I wanna <laughs> get there fast. Yeah, I get it. I mean, I, I, that's why I have my Mustang, you know? I have my Mustang for fast car, yeah. and then I got this yeah, for, yeah. like, my old school car, and then I want to get a business car. Like, I, I, I want to get a BMW. I was looking into a Dodge Dart, a BMW, or the AMG, the four-seater.
I refuse to park this year. Oh my god. Okay, you wouldn't believe the coincidence of a lot of shit I'm about to show you. Alright. I forgot how sick this car is. Yeah, I love this car. Can't stand the sound, but the car itself is beautiful. Oh, I think my uh, one of my people already has like 20 oxy, by the way. I gotta talk to them. Hell yeah. How much oxy? So it's oxy for the better life prescriptions, and then you could sell the better life prescriptions like legally, right? That's how that shit works. Uh, technically, yeah. And that oxy is just way more potent than the uh, street oxy. That's sick. The thing is, we unironically own uh, control two of the major, major drugs that are probably the most you shit. Uh, by uh, gangbangers in the city right now. So, which is the heroin, the oxy, and it would have been the cocaineum, but uh, you know we don't gotta talk about that. So the uh, that oxy, the the legal one, uh, is that purely to be sold legally, or I don't know yet. Right now, all I know is we gather a fuck ton of oxy, we get enough to make oxy, we talk to Kitty, and we come up with a plan. Yeah, the way Kitty like. Kitty is super by the book, and she sells that shit legally, but I think we're better off selling it illegally. That's what I, I agree. And just having a front of, of selling it legally when people come knocking, you know what I mean? I think you do both. That way, like you said, you have a front. Like, you, you, uh, uh, if Kitty wants to sell that shit legally, her handling the legal sales, because that, that shit would be huge. I agree. And then, I, I mean, for example, like... Raise boys at war, he could probably use that oxy like like fucking crack cocaine. Like people at war are gonna fucking eat that shit up. Oh, easily, a hundred percent. Hello, Oliver. Hello. Hey damn, mister. I'm a lady. Lay down. Lay down, good boy. Everybody took the day off, man. I was fucking excited for this morning, honestly. I cook up the shit we've been cooking on. Yeah, so was I. I I'm, I'm kind of surprised that, like, Leslie and Harry aren't awake. When we talked about, like, uh... Well, Leslie was awake a little earlier today when I was hanging out with him Speedy, but uh, he said he'll be around for a long time tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow's okay. kind of the day where we get a lot of stuff yeah, done, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Today a chill day and I was like, I was, like, trying to tomorrow. cook up ideas. But I, I, I'm trying, like, I... Denzel, I like, cooked up so hard last night. I got so many ideas. I want, like, I really want to make this, like, really serious. Uh, I'm excited. I I love that, like, the funeral is... The funeral home stuff is tying into the church stuff, and then we're tying in a bunch of legal businesses to that that stuff as well. Yeah. And I love that it's, like... Yeah, I love that it's me, you, Leslie, Harry, too. Because, like, the four of us working on something, it's gonna, it'll be a lot of fun, I think. I agree. Okay. Now, this part is going to be really funny. The brace for it. Okay. I, I personally really hope we do a, a a limelight reunion just so I can change my Mustang to my limelight livery and change my license plate to say lime time.
Did I just go under that? Uh, I think you. I don't think so, but I could have been not paying attention. Okay. The doors opening is the coolest thing about that. What the fuck? Dude, this is sick as fuck. How funny is this? This looks sick. This is a church. Yeah, this looks fucking sick, though. Yeah, come over here. Let's go talk in the uh, confessional. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, this, this looks fucking awesome. my god oh i called the uh, orlando calling this morning and i wanted to talk to the guild to kind yeah. of get their idea of like whether they have the storm and shit and apparently stag has been building this fucking church and they want to bring back the storm lord and they were essentially trying to do what we're doing i would say a little bit less hardcore than what we're doing yeah but essentially the same idea all right so i told lando listen you guys don't really know uh much of what you're talking about, maybe stag dies. But uh, if you guys want to go in on this shit, like you have to go full in. Yeah. Um. And uh, Lando's very hard to have serious conversations with, but he seemed down. <laughs> but uh, because I think having like stag and the old one like just coming to church meetings and shit uh, would be good. But I also don't know how serious uh, they would take it. Because I don't want this shit to be serious. Then. I, I think Stag and Bjorn would take it very serious. I, I mean, Stag for sure. I think Bjorn... I think if you if you emphasize the serious to him and tell him that it's for the Stormlord, would 100%. I think Lando is the, uh, Lando is the wild card. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, but I, I, I think... Uh, I think he could take it serious. Depends if he wants to. But yeah, I think it would have to be emphasized to everybody. The thing is, though, when I talked to Lando, it seemed like they were only doing this to uh, bring back Kane. Hmm. Interesting. A how do they think that would bring him back? Uh, I have no idea. I did tell Lando I do want to speak to him, Stag, and Bjorn uh, at a meeting. Yeah, I uh, I think it'd be good, especially if they all take it seriously. I mean, I, I think I think Stag is like, uh, I mean, <laughs> well, the funny thing is, is we never made them read those oaths, right? I really want to incorporate that into this religion. Yeah, it's, I want to make a gonna make a whole book that we're gonna carry around like Harry had that we can grab out of the library down on Rooster's Rest. Yes, it's just gonna be a fucking Bible essentially. Yes, you know, you know. It's funny because you know when I was running when I was running for mayor, I was trying to get get throwable Bibles. <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious. But I don't want this like these books. Like only the serious people of the church will have it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. We're not gonna pass them out like candy. Yeah, if absolutely. You, if you become a serious member of the church, step one is getting the book. That book is essentially means we mark them as a potential candidate to join the cult. You know what I mean? And then once they get that book, we see how seriously they take it. And if they take it. Seriously, step two is they bring that book into the crypt and read the oaths. Step three is eventually we show them the basement. So on and so forth. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, Lando was also saying how they want to bring in Fifi, Eve, and Alex, which I'm not opposed to, but then it begs the question of I don't want this to become something with just the same people. Yeah. Or all of the same people. Yeah, I get that. I mean, I think... <clears throat> and I, I just don't think Eve, people like Eve and Fifi... Like, I don't really know much of Alex's uh, background, like uh, what they do and shit in their free time. Mm -hmm. Come on, Fifi's like yokai, she races, hangs out with Marlo a lot, you know, that kind of shit. Uh, Eve, I, I don't really know if she'll ever be completely loyal to something. Uh, you know, she gets very uh, attached to things easily, so... 
Like we need like like look at the uh, Alex Yang, right? Yeah. She's like full like prime time like fucking just loyal. Even Dewey. Like we just need people we don't even have to question. Like if I tell like Dewey brought brought us fucking between his ring finger, Benzel. Yeah. Yeah. I mean he went about it smart too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we just need people who just don't ask questions. And then, you know, at the end of the day, people that we can just be like, Denzel, we got to go kill uh, Dewey. And we just get rid of him. And I don't even think twice about it. That's as harsh as that sounds. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, and, and that's the thing, right? I mean, the original, like we were talking about yesterday, originally the whole point of uh, bringing them into the fold was the po disposable people. But it, it's at a that point. That was always the original intent. And then yeah. We fucked up because we got too overly attached, and then they became like a cringe gang-banging, spray turf-holding down fucking... I don't know what the guild become. I'm not trying to insult them, but... Yeah, yeah I but mean, it happens, though, right? Everybody people makes, change. Everybody makes their own decisions. That Yeah, people change. They walk down their own paths, especially uh, when they're so new to the city, they don't really know what the city has to offer, and once they spend enough time here, they become different people, right? Yeah, absolutely. But I do want to stick to the core of this being just disposable, blindly loyal people. Yeah, I mean, and that we, yeah, we 100% have to make sure we don't get attached to any of these fucks we bring in. They need to be 100% disposable. Um, I'm perfectly capable of doing that. Yeah. The thing is, is I, I, I allowed myself to get attached to a lot of people, but I'm very, I'm fucked up in the head, Denzel. I will get rid of people and I can live with it. Uh, you know, even with Eve. Uh, I have a lot of respect for Eve. I like her a lot, but uh, my relationship with her will never be the same as it was prior to the incident, and I can live with that. I don't lose sleep over that. You know? Yeah. Um, but uh, I want this to be taken seriously because this this will fucking be a catastrophic failure if people join this to meme and fuck around. Like, let's use Harry, for example, right? Uh, when Harry's in, like, his fucking mood to cause chaos and fuck me over, like, that could be really bad in this. Yeah. Or or even if I get, like, you know, if I get in the mood of wanting to be extremely petty to get back at Harry, like, that could be really bad in this. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, That absolutely. shit just can't really seep into this kind of shit that we're going to do with this shit. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think having a conversation with those three and making it very clear that, uh, that well, it's going to be I, serious. And that well, I first want to have a, another conversation with Harry and Leslie, just to see what our headset is at. Because I'm also down to do, like, some fucking trolley, fucking cult for fun, stupid shit. But I also, like I said, really always just wanted a, a kind of empire that we ran as serious as we ran uh, run Cerberus. I would love for that to be this. If everybody just wants to do, like, some fucking shit for fun, you know, some trolley, some weirdo fucking crazy <laughs> shit, then I'm down for that too. But for me, I personally would rather take this route. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I also think there's... <clears throat> And I mean, it also comes down to reading a situation too, right? I mean, I mean, like, there's nothing wrong with it being an extremely serious thing, but like, there's wiggle room to not be serious all the time, right? Like at night, oh if yeah, we of go course, through I mean, the there's, a time, there's a time and place for everything, but yeah, exactly. when it comes to uh, you know, it's just being aware of like the lines you don't cross, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like, I'm still gonna be petty to Harry until the day I die. But just <laughs> being aware of like, I'm not gonna go be petty to Harry and uh, I don't know expose the crypt or expose the cult or some stupid shit you know what i mean yeah because like, we won't be doing this all the time like we have a life outside of this it's like very hard like, it's just no it's just knowing it's being experienced of knowing like when to cross lines and when, when to not cross lines you know yeah absolutely i think uh, i mean i think the first conversation 100 percent has to be us two plus leslie and uh, harry anyway to like sp uh, to come up with ideas and to, to talk about all that shit anyway kind of like cook yeah. All of it together and then outside of that i think having a conversation with those three that, that you mentioned earlier like stag bjorn and uh lando and talking about uh what we expect and if they want to be in you know yeah i mean a good example is me and you right yeah we read those oaths to each other like years ago and the reality is we never really broke them we've pissed each other off a lot we've done a lot of dumb shit to each other but <laughs> if you read those oaths we actually never broke them yeah it's just the same mindset. It doesn't mean you can't do that shit. Like, I can't go troll you and piss you off. It's just I know, like, what what I'm blooded by, and I make sure I never break that shit. Yeah, I mean, you know. I mean, I know how to fuck around with you, but I also, when it comes down to it, I'm never going to fucking betray you, and that's what those oaths are about.
Yeah. So, I just think, uh, yeah, I, I really want to take this Google. seriously, but I also want to make sure that we're all on the same page of that, because if we're not, then it's better we don't take it seriously and make this shit a chaos. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I think everybody's on board for it to be serious, so I think it should be. I think so, too, but I think it's good we just confirm it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This but like I said, I want to talk to the guild will as well, because apparently they've been planning on doing something similar, and they built this church, so... Uh, I guess we'll uh, have two churches I, at the end of the day. Yeah, I I like this like as like a more like uh, like you know uh, the church away from the church, like a smaller the church, church away from the church. Yeah, like when we want to go do some fucking real weird shit that we don't want in the fucking middle of the city, we come up here, you know. Yeah, exactly. And then the, the other church could be uh, the other church could, could be, be a very big version of like this one, you know, big like version, more public. Anybody in the city can come. Like we don't give a fuck. This church is like, oh, you were chosen to come into yep. the secret sermons. You know, you know how we want to do like secret sermons? We do them up here. Yeah, exactly. And I, I think uh, I think the the big church down in the city is uh, where the uh, we let anybody come. Make anybody come? We have donations, and that's how we do money laundering. Yep. I, I mean, I, I was already talking to one of my people. Uh, because uh, she she doesn't have much money, so I think once I have like 100k or 200k dirty, I'm gonna give her like 50k of it, and I'm gonna have her go to one of these sermons, and donate 50k towards the uh, donation, and start to slowly clean money that way. Oh yeah, I mean fuck yeah. But yeah, I mean I, I think this I, this could be a full blown like crazy like some fucking crazy shit honestly. That, uh, what's that one game Far Cry like some real crazy shit yeah yeah I, I uh... it's funny you mentioned that I, I was looking at some of that shit earlier <laughs> you're getting an outfit done aren't you I, I, I do kind of want to get an outfit yeah I'm gonna get an outfit done too honestly yeah if we, as soon as we get a logo I kind of want to get an outfit yeah this car is so shit off road like Jesus Christ I understand I'm off-road, but my car doesn't need to be fucking ice skate. I, that church is so sick, though. Who who was doing it? Like, who made that? I don't know. I think Stag made it. Holy Standing shit. Standing by uh, what Lando was saying, but maybe they hired somebody. I'm not really sure. May Stag detects me like. Let's see. What did text? He texted me like two weeks ago that he had something to pitch pitch to me tomorrow and the emperor and he never called me. Oh, it's I never definitely this. So that's probably it's gotta the, be that. It, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It probably. Yeah, I mean, we got to hold a stag. Uh, we'll see where Stag's head is at. Because I, I, I really think Stag has never really lost his way, honestly. Oh, unknown number. How are is this, Mr. Williams? Uh, hello? Uh, hello, you have been referred to free counseling by a friend of yours that would like to remain anonymous. I'm not uh, interested in therapy. I I'm not a hippie. We've ho I'm about to start. Hey, can we, if you see any pay phones in the city, drive by them. This, this person is calling me okay. about therapy. How many times do I have to say I don't need therapy? Okay, well, I said counseling. The same therapy, fucking shit. There's a difference. Same fucking uh, shit. Regardless, a friend, same fucking a shit. Fri a friend of yours is I, I don't you give a fuck. A lot of stress I don't go to therapy. Um, apparently you're very much in denial of a lot nope. of things. Nope. And you're very angry. My car is um, like just fucked. It's literally just What's on your mind? What's on your mind, Mr. Williams? What's on your, what's on uh, your uh, who is this? <laughs> this is Gregory. This is Gregory. This is Gregory. Okay. And you're calling me because therapy. A friend of yours has referred you to counseling. Yes. Uh, a friend? Which friend? 
Uh, they'd like to remain anonymous because they're uh, okay, being so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start kidnapping people and I'm gonna start torturing them slowly until I find out which person did that. Uh, I don't care what you recommend. I don't listen to therapists. Well, um, okay. Then no therapy. Let's, let's not do that. How about I never call you again and you never do that in regards to this? Uh, well, here's the thing. Uh, You're I not going to call great. me regardless, and I'm just going to go torture somebody till I figure out who recommended me for therapy. Then I'm going to murder them. Jesus, that's <laughs> Let's, let's not do that. I'm going to do that. How many times do I have to tell you I don't listen to therapists? I'd really rather you know, do that. No. Nope. Um, just a prank. Just, just a prank. It's just a prank. What the just fuck does that mean? Just a prank, bro. Just a, just a prank, bro. I gotta go. Just a prank. Just a, I'm just gonna a start prank. torturing people. Goodbye. Hey Denzel, I'm gonna call today a chill day for me, alright? I'll probably be back in like uh, half an hour if you're still around, we can hang out. Yeah, call me. I'm, uh, gonna I'm just gonna go handle some shit this morning, then I'll be back around, alright? Alright, sounds good. I'm probably gonna go handle some meetings, so call me. I'll give you a call when I'm back. Okay. <laughs> um. Where did I put these? Oh, I put them in the, uh, in the manor. I think. Um, okay. I call it Eve, because I've been meaning to talk to Eve. Hello. Hey, Eve. Hi. You want to link up? Uh, yeah, sure. All right. Uh, I got to gas up my car, and then I'm checking my van, and I'll meet you at the manor. Okay, perfect. I'll see you there. All right, bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the voice changes are always funny to me, because, like... I always know who's behind the voice changer, but I, I just roleplay that I don't. That's why I love voice changers, because they're fucking hilarious to me. <laughs> yeah. I feel like all of them are pretty obvious. I think I've only... I think I've only... One or two people I, I've always... I've ever had, like, a... Voice like a, a, a distortion, you know, phone call. I'm like, huh? Who the fuck is that? Yes, exactly. That that's what people don't get. Like, you know, if I'm calling from a voice changer, I'm gonna have to change my cadence, brother. Gas pump. Refuel. Self serve. Yo, Buddha, thank you to raid. <sighs> oh, that is voice changer sounds crazy to me. Yeah, dude. Uh, lucky without a voice changer, it, it it's such a such a crazy uh, it's such a crazy change.
KZ? Yeah, I, I make fun of KZ all the time, though, for his. Every time I hang out with KZ OSC, I tell him his voice changer zone. Just to fuck with him. Saeed? <laughs> Saeed, dude, Sa some of my favorite days in 2.0 were waking up and going to the barrio and fucking Saeed wouldn't have his voice changer <laughs> uh, uh, Burrito? Good old days? Yeah. Yeah, the good old days. I just did the burrito, pony. Oh, pony, take out. Next to me. I mean, honestly, Ray's character of Solo was a very good character. I'm gonna be honest. I like low key want to bring Godric to 3.0. Like low key, I just really enjoyed playing the character. It's like I kind of want to play him in 3.0 at some point. Three point oh ballers need a leader. Chat, I'm not leading a gang in three point oh. <laughs> you are crazy if you think I'm leading a gang in three point oh. You are fucking crazy if you think that. In four point oh, the only thing I would have let a gang in is hardcore, and I'm not sure hardcore is happening still. I'm pretty sure it's, le it's happening. I hope it's happening, personally. There was talks about, like, Red Dead being the hardcore server, which I... I don't... I don't know. I read that, at least. I don't know if it's true. I don't play Wild slash Jabass anytime soon? No. I got no interest. Mm -hmm. I miss a lot of the people from Wild RP. I think there's some, like, uh... There's some fantastic role players on Wild RP, but I got no interest. Dude, Godric, Godric Pope is just a, such a good name. Some proper gems in Wild RP, they really are, man. Uh, like, Kaysons is one of my favorite people, dude. Kaysons is a great role player. Ferrets, too. Kaysons and Ferrets are fantastic people. I miss role playing with. Jimmy as well. Hoop. Yeah, Hoop's a legend, bro. I fucking love Hoop. Hoop and I making the, uh... <laughs> Hoop and I making it fucking Ocelot outfits together was, the, was one of my favorite things. <laughs> that shit was fucking hilarious. I just might. Kono, Kono and Bert as well, dude. Kono, Kono and, uh, Kono and Bert. Fucking fantastic role players, too. <clears throat> Hello. Let me go put this really real quick. Hi. Achiever's been on no pixel before Wild Herb. Mm -hmm. Happened to V? <clears throat> Look, I... I miss I miss Alex. Okay, Alex will forever be one of my favorite people on NoPixel. <clears throat> Alex is one of my uh, 
one of the people that I consider a good friend that I've met in roleplay. Too far, I just might. Hello, I'm a family man. How do I open this shit? Add materials. Oh. 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 Holy shit. This is crazy. I might just give I might just yoink Mickey's bricks I'll be honest chat I got to do a drop today and me Harry did not give me any of the bricks and spunk has has them I might just yoink Mickey's bricks <laughs> and then replace them when when spunk head gives us the bricks because <laughs> like I, I kind of want to get shit done I'm gonna just grief blow the entire time on the podcast later to you if I do that. It's a trade. Yes, it's a trade. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I am... I'm tired. But I'm good. I woke up. I woke up later than I expected. You know, you know when you like oversleep. Mhm. Mm yeah. I overslept. All right. So too much sleep. Yeah, pretty much. What businesses did you um did you get to keep? Uh pretty much all of them but coffee and cones, which I think died. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Andy at some point said that she was gonna get rid of it anyway. Yeah, so I pretty much kept everything. Uh Chew Mats is in my name, although I gotta talk to Levi. Uh we me I, I told Levi I didn't want to be in competition with him because Chew Mats would basically be doing the same thing as Big Pussy's lockpick shop. Mm -hmm. So I gotta talk to him. Um, <laughs> I I had a question for with the storefronts and how they're ran. Is uh, like let's say that Big Pussy's lockpick shop. Uh, I think it's like what a what a fucking uh, hardware store, right? Yeah, it's hardware and tools. Would he be able to sell like uh, knuckle dusters and daggers out of that, or no? No, that would have to be a, no, a completely different store, um, which would be melee items. I see, okay. And I'm assuming melee items would be able to sell bats, daggers, knuckle dusters, the whole, all of it. Mm -hmm. And then he could have lockpicks yeah, yeah. as a specialty item? No, so um, lockpicks is under hardware and tools, and then uh, melee items is a completely different specialization. I see, so it ha okay. would have to be a different business, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. What are, uh, what are parachutes under? Uh, outdoor and survival. Outdoor and survival, okay. I so this is a, an interesting question because I was running this by the, the, the I was running this by the guild in the past. Uh, you know the oil filters? Yes. Are they under anything? Because they're not technically illegal. I'd have to double check that. Uh, I don't think that under anything because I don't think it's been everything that's like. Uh, something that somebody has to wants to sell like that's like hasn't been sold before they just approach the factory and like hey I have this to sell and then um, John Miller aka Turbo just like decides if it's like something that he will put up for you to sell under a specific category that makes sense basically okay. so I should talk to him about it um yes all right perfect I, I can easily have that conversation with him yeah and you can even you know tell him that it's just an oil filter for a car or something i don't know yeah i mean i've known turbo uh for like four years so i'll probably mm -hmm. tell him i'll tell him exactly why i want it and that it's not illegal and i think he'll probably say i'm good for it 
Yeah. And then he just, he just has to find it, put it under category or he'll ask you whether you want to sell it and he'll probably just try to uh, make it work for you, honestly. All right. Perfect. Um, that was the storefront questions I had because I told Levi to handle that before I uh, not yeah. gonna talk to him again. Um, I know Levi approached me and he, he was like, he's, he, he's always been, I want to be big Copa like you, Eve. So he was asking me about how shares worked and dividends worked and things like that. Cause yeah, then, I told him I want to um, buy 49% of big pussy's lock pick shop. So we're not, Edwards, so we're not competing yeah. together. I think he basically said that, um, he wanted to see if. If when if you bought it, would Big Pussy Locks picks like become Cerberus, like part of Cerberus? Because would like would you invest in it? Would it become Cerberus? And I said, well, that's a talk you you both would have to have. Yeah, I because told him that I would be open yeah. to. I told him I'd be open to owning forty nine percent of it privately, but I also told him I'd be open to owning like twenty five percent of it and then having twenty four percent of it be Leslie slash Cerberus, because I know Leslie loves Big Pussy. <laughs> Yeah, he does. So I, I told, I told him I'd be open to either option. So it's a conversation I gotta have with Levi. But yeah, yeah, I told him I'd be open to either. Yeah, I told him just like get like uh, all the percentages ready that you wanna have, and um, and just bring it back to Denzel. And he said, okay. He's he's very open to it though, because he does want to do this. And all at right. the end of the day, even making having too much still do the same thing. There's still space in Chumash for more stores, so you can literally still do that if you wanted to. Yeah, I just, you know, Levi's like my right hand, you know? I, I just, yeah. I feel, it just feels weird being in a comp direct competition with him, you know? Even mm -hmm. if it's not, like, wrong, per se, it just feels weird. No, I understand. I think the only other place that actually does do that, I know Harmony Lockpicks just opened up, like, literally three, four days ago, and I think, uh... Taco has one in Little Soul too, but he doesn't stock it as often. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. But uh yeah. You told me you were interested in the flower stuff shop stuff? Yes, yes, yes. So um if you still want to do that, I'm pretty sure that you can still we can still open the flower store and make it a type of like a nursery for flowers and plants and stuff. If that's something that you potentially wanted to do. Yeah, I'm done. Because um, with the factory, you can do really cute things where you have, you start like, a, I don't know if you ever had the Delver Cube. Uh, the Delver Cube, I don't think so. Yeah, so Delver gives you a unsolved <laughs> Digicube or a Delver Cube and you start solving it and it takes you at least... Depending on how difficult it is, it took me 40 minutes to do. And then when you're done with it, the end product will be that the Del you solve the Del like the Delva cube. So with the nursery or the flower shop, um, I was thinking of ideas like um, people coming in and potentially taking care of their plants. Um, if it was like bonsai trees, they could come in and trim it and things like that. Like a little like an actual flower shop where people have to take care of their plants. Hell yeah, yeah, I, I'd be down for that. I uh, I'd be down for that, and then just like selling flowers as well, to mm -hmm. just normal selling of flowers and yeah, uh, yeah, bouquets and pot plants and yeah, I succulents. I I have a lot of ideas for that. Yeah, I mean honestly, Eve, if, if you, uh, Eve, I will literally just give you any role you want and let you run with it if you have ideas. Cause I I ain't doing shit with it, and it was something that Andy and I were gonna do, mm -hmm. and uh, you know I don't. It literally I I bought this company for like twenty grand, and it had like think, fifty grand in the bank account and an office. <laughs> so I think you you bought it from Angelo, and yeah. I was like really really good friends with Angelo. Too. Yeah, I, I love I Angelo. He was he, like, he was yeah. a big reason why I wanted to buy it is because I just love Angelo's vibe. To be honest, yeah, like he's a great guy. So. And then I would also think if you should definitely open the smoke shop because there's no smoke shop in. Yeah, I, that that's I want to get Bane or uh, Sid to decorate it, and I, I want to get that up and running because that's. I'm gonna be honest with you, Eve. Out of everything, uh, legally, that's always been like my baby. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like 
I know. Back when, even from the market days, I remember. Yeah, it was always it was always my baby, and Andy's was always coffee and cones. Mm -hmm. uh, I I remember. Yeah, even back when, <laughs> you know, I. Did you ever know I used to have life in prison? No. I I uh, back in the day when Lang and I were in the South Side, uh, I I killed a cop. I was uh, I went down for killing a cop. He died. Uh, they gave me life with chance at parole, and I got parole after a long period of time. And uh, coming out of life in prison and parole, uh, it was actually Turbo, believe it or not, who mm -hmm. gave me the idea and suggested that I open a cigarette and cigar shop. And we were going to do it together after I got out of prison, and uh, we never got that chance. And so that's why I wanted to do it. Because I finally had the opportunity to do. Something I wanted to do for ages. Yeah, I, I remember when you got the storefront and um I was very I was I was rooting for you to to actually just get an uh, up and running. I'm just gonna change create role. Uh in And I really think that having the smoke shop anybody. there would um would be great and I, lo I like I said, I love the products back in the farmer market days, and we can do so much with them now. Yeah, I, uh, I fucking, um, what's it called? I, I love the, uh, <laughs> especially because, because I, it did turn out like I thought it would back when I was talking to, I, 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 I used to shoot the shit with Turbo, bad ideas for the factory. Mm -hmm. And uh, I told him I thought it'd be sick because, like the you know the old um, the cigar humidors I used to sell, like having an eye, mm -hmm. uh, having something you could actually put the cigars into, and explained it mm -hmm. all to him, and he he loved it. Okay, fire. Uh, Eve, what's your state ID? Uh, seven 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 eight. Seven eight. All right, I just hired you onto this company. I don't. I. Okay. I think it's. I think the role that I gave you has literally the ability for everything. Yeah, it has the ability for everything. So you can do okay. literally whatever you want with it. All right. Well, I trust I you fully. Will probably, so. I will probably look for a very nice location for the storefront, and then I'll um. I'll call you through if I find something that's suitable for it, and then, um, like I said, I actually have a ton of ideas because I think like, I think like two three months ago I was like I I I was doing my cabin up north and I made like this little little section which is like it's all it's just plants everywhere and I was like I uh I really want to do a nursery hell yeah yeah I I, I think it I, honestly I I um I also want to be able to uh you know do you know in like churches do you know if there's like specific flowers that are sold for um, uh, for churches, I don't know if it's like. I would only assume for funerals. Yeah. But I can do some research, and we can incorporate that. Perfect, because uh, churches and and funeral flowers, I I I definitely, we would definitely need to sell that. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Um. I think Crane was going over. That's why <laughs> yesterday, because I was not sure if the graveyard and crypt were state owned. I see. I I, I could probably talk to Crane about it. I, I don't think Crane yeah, would have yeah. an issue with any of it. Yeah, I think Nancy sent that on to Crane because it was again um everybody involved, she didn't want to be biased. Um incense. But I think it should be fine. But yeah, um You know, this is off topic, but incense I could technically mm -hmm. sell incense at Smoking Gun, right? <laughs> yes, 100%. <laughs> yes, perfect. Perfect. The factory has so many things. Uh, uh, literally anything is possible. Yo, Hoop, I fucking miss you, dude. Uh, I think I for Smoking Gun, you. I think you did cigarettes and... 
I'd imagine it'd be like tobacco related shit because I'd want to sell cig- cigarette cigars. Mm-hmm. I don't really care about anything else. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you had you, I had you down as a, as the smokehouse, and then you were able to choose an extra item, but if you're not interested in an extra item, that's fine. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I at least right now I'm not. If something comes up where I, you know what I mean, like, mm-hmm. I just, I, I think it would mainly just be tobacco related shit. And like custom products in the factory that go with tobacco related stuff. I gotta get Leslie his snus. That's the other thing I gotta do. Yes. Leslie okay, Leslie so smoking it, down is fine, yeah. Leslie and I had an idea ages ago. It was me, Leslie, and Andy that had a meeting about uh, Leslie doing like a tobacco company and then us buying his tobacco. I remember that. Yes. I remember that and then he would use and then you would use that for yep. for the cigars and the cigarette. I remember that. I think he was up until that point, he was like, I think he was probably like a week away from the write up the proposal, basically. If I remember correctly, I also have some cops that were interested in working for Smoking Gun, which is fucking hilarious for me. Or the hilarious to me, at least. Uh, uh, I think Kovi- I mean, Kovacic used to love Smoking Gun, Kozlov used to love Smoking Gun, and Raven used to love Smoking Gun. I feel like a lot of people losing their jobs, um, it would probably be, yeah, should reach out to them. I'm, I'm gonna, I, I gotta reach out to Raven. Do you know Raven? Uh, Vladimir uh, Raven? No, actually. Raven, uh, was the chief of police back when I was in prison for life. I'm, I'm the godfather of his daughter. We uh, we have a very good relationship. Who's uh, his daughter? Uh, Zelda. Do you know Zelda? I actually met Zelda for the first time like two months ago. Yeah, she's my goddaughter. She runs around with a shirt that says "I love my godfather." <laughs> uh, but yeah, I uh, you know, I bro- I ended up ruining Raven's marriage, and it was a whole thing. You know, Bob. You remember Bobby? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's who he was married to. Oh, shit. Yep. Chief Bob. Bob always hated me. Bob actually left me a voicemail before he left the state, surprisingly. I had to find yeah, him. That was, like, was a big send-off. Yeah, he left me a voicemail, and it was like, uh, Denzel, I, uh... You know, we never really got along. Uh, you kind of ruined my marriage. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> I, I don't hate you. You know, and we take care of Zelda while I'm in Tijuana. <laughs> Did you make him leave? Because you ruined his marriage? No, no, I ruined his marriage years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a long, long time ago. So it's not a midlife crisis? No, 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 definitely not a midlife crisis. I wouldn't know what a midlife crisis is, to be honest. <laughs> you have your life together. Yeah, I sure do. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I got I I hired you on. I will literally support anything you do and uh whatever whatever the storefront is, just let me know what the price is and I'll just I'll pay for it. I don't think any of the businesses have money in this account because Andy and I pulled all the money out to separate it in the divorce, so. That's fine. Um, I'll go and look for a space and then um, I'll probably do it tomorrow and then we should be good to go and then I'll see who can decorate. I know Sid is backed up. I know Bane is also I don't know if Bane is taking projects. He told me he Plus. would do it for me. Ooh, okay. 
So I gotta, I yeah, gotta have a conversation. You should get with him. him on Smoking Gun, definitely. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta have a conversation with him when I get the chance. But uh, oh yeah, all right. We'll have all the businesses up and running. Yeah, you should talk to Levi as well. Yeah, I gotta. I, I, he's just not around much. That's the issue. I just he I... he was around before Storm, and then he like he just randomly flies in and out. Call me when you're next around. I text him to call me. Fucking uh. I'm excited for the funeral home machine, I'm not gonna lie, because uh, Harry and I were sh shooting ideas, and uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I really hope that we're, we want to do it with the, we'd have to submit a construction proposal, obviously, but uh, mm -hmm. we kind of want to see if they will rip all the headstones out of the cemetery, and that okay. way when people actually die in this city, they can get oh their own God. headstones. Oh, and then you, you like, customize it for them uh -huh. and everything? Yep. <gasps> That's genius. Yeah. Uh, There's actually a... Like, Bassum, like, getting Bassum yeah. a giant headstone and stuff like that? I killed him. Yeah, you're, you you can be like, I killed that man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, is, that is genius. I love that. I think somebody wanted to own the stars on Vinewood as well at some point. I, you know, I was the mayor when that got submitted. I actually thought it was a really good idea. Same. I, I but loved I, it as an idea. It was denied, right? I, I, I think it was one of the ones I handed off to. Uh, well, the Senate didn't exist when I was the mayor. Uh, I handed it off to federal, somebody in federal government because mm -hmm. uh, it was mainly a construction thing anyway. So, but it, I thought it was a sick idea. Same. You, then you just money sink people by having them spend millions. Yeah, like I mean, Lang dollars. would spend millions to have his name. Yeah, on the fucking like, especially a in front of yeah, in front of the vault. Yeah, exactly. Yes. All right, I gotta, I gotta go have some meetings. Uh, you're welcome <laughs> to come. It's up to you. I, I, I gotta go deal cocaine. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna probably fly out soon. I've been up a very long time. Have a good night, Eve. All right, bank the. Bye. Thanks to do only by the ghost of you. They take me back to the night we met. I think the graveyard idea just has so much potential, Chad. Even to go like a step further, further. Imagine role playing out like cremation and like get, selling people's urns. <laughs> like, it's such a cool idea and it's such a cool concept, to be honest. Like, bro, I will walk around like an urn with an urn like I'm Paul Bear, man. I don't give a fuck. I want to meet the groundkeeper. You know the groundskeeper that the, the role plays in the, the, the fucking cemetery? I, I want to try to meet him because I want to try to hire him on to the funeral home. Because, like, I, I, I want to incorporate... Because like, the dude's been role playing there for so long. Like, just... It would, I, like, it would suck to just have that yoink from him. So I want to make sure he gets, like, hired on to do groundskeeping work. If we got the business. Yeah, get Bjorn. <laughs> get Bjorn. <laughs> Dude, I gotta message Bio a picture of of uh, Paul Bear and see if he'll make a Paul Bear outfit. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Dude, Bjorn as Paul Bear would be the funniest shit. I met Paul Bear in person too, dude. Honestly, like... You know, one of the nicest pe one of the nicest wrestlers I've ever met. So two people, two people. I'll tell two stories. I've met uh, I when I was young, when I was like 14, I used to uh I used to go like before my dad passed, my dad used to take me to like meet and greets when we would have for like free time and, and spare money. And uh what's it called? We uh 
we we went to a meet and greet that Bret Hart was a part of, and uh, Bret Hart, Bret Bret Hart, I mean legend. And we were in line, and uh, my dad like my dad grabbed like two pictures of Bret Hart, right? And um, we were like next to go, and like one of the security people that was like running the event was like. <laughs> He was like, uh, you can only get one, you only paid for one autograph. Uh, you need, you know, you need to put one of the pictures back. And before like me or my dad could say anything, Bret Hart goes, <laughs> it just shows how nice of a dude he is. He goes, what the, what's the point of a Bret Hart picture if it isn't signed? <laughs> and then he just had us both come up with both pictures. <laughs> just, he's just a sweet guy. And literally, like, it told the security guy off before <laughs> before saying anything. Just a nice guy. The other dude that is just, like, a super nice guy, uh, Drew McIntyre, man. Back before Drew McIntyre went into, um... Before Drew McIntyre went to, uh... What's it called? Went back to fucking the independent scene? When he would like during his last couple years before leaving, so like 2013, 2012, 2014, that that time period, when he was still signed with WWE before he le left to um to like WCPW and uh, and the independent scene, before he was like real bulked up, I met him at WrestleMania 20. I think it was WrestleMania 27. I went to. The shittiest WrestleMania of all time. That's why I'm excited to go to WrestleMania 40. To actually have a good WrestleMania under my belt, hopefully. Uh, I met him. It was me, my ma, and my dad. And we met Drew. Nobody was in line for Drew McIntyre. And we sat there for 45 minutes just shooting the shit with Drew McIntyre. Because nobody even w was in line for him, dude. And he was such a nice guy. Like, literally was such a nice dude. He, I remember, like, if people came in the line, he would literally just have us move off to the side while he was talking to us and just sign their autograph and then keep talking to us. He was just such a nice dude. Like, he was, like, he was literally asking about... So, like, my mom was a school teacher before she retired. And it, he literally was just asking about, like, the American, like, school system. And, like, <laughs> he was just shooting the shit with my mom about the, the archdiocese. <laughs> Like, he was just such a chill guy, man. He, he was just such a down to, like, just a nice dude. Down to earth guy. Uh, I might yoink this cocaine. I think I'm gonna yoink this cocaine. I, I, I feel like I've got, I've got to yoink this cocaine if, if, if he's around. Jesus, the car was fast. He has a meter and act with any of the wrestlers who also stream on Twitch? No. Uh, Adam Cole is one of the Twitch guys, that, one of the dudes that does Twitch stuff that, uh, that I've always wanted to meet. Because he seems like such a nice guy. Fade away. Oh, I'm going to grief the fuck out of him on the podcast if I end up stealing the coke. What's your favorite tag team on WWE? Uh, I don't watch WWE every... Like, I, I don't watch wrestling anymore. I read about wrestling. I just don't have time most times. Unless it's a pay-per-view, I'll watch the pay-per-views. But, um... What's it called? Uh, probably current WWE Street Profits, to be honest. The Street Profits are so... Like, Montez Ford should be a main event star one day, dude. That dude is insane. That dude's frog splash is nuts. Montez should be a main event guy, in my opinion. I mean, I even like Dawkins, but I, I just don't think he's as good as Montez.
I think uh, Montez Ford, uh, th their tag team's really good. My uh, favorite tag teams in general right now is probably um, probably the Revival is one of my favorites, or I guess FTR. I, I just love their wrestling style personally. Uh, you know, you know who I, I I haven't seen the dude in forever, but do you know who I miss? Ilya Dragunov, dude, that guy. I literally play that guy in the WWE game so much because I miss watching his matches, dude. Ilya Dragunov is such a good wrestler, He's such an underrated wrestler as well. Is he on NXT? I don't. Oh, hey yo. Hello, week. What's up, boss? Uh, you got you got a second to meet up? Uh, yeah. All right, I'm uh, coming. Where are you at? I'm at Big Pussies. All right, I'm swimming by. All right, see you soon. See ya. Hello, week. Dude, his matches with Walter were classics, dude. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest. I was watching WrestleMania and I thought there's no way Cody lost. <laughs> dude, uh, honestly, it would, it, it, dude, it was crazy, to be honest. Like, they, they literally, dude. Just think about this from like, from WWE's perspective, right? They have Cody come out with a weight belt that has every company he ever worked on at, okay? Not only does he kiss his daughter and see and kiss his wife, he hands the weight belt over to John Huber's son, okay? And I'm thinking to myself, there is no way they are gonna make this guy lose when they are doing this spot before the match. There is no way they would make this guy lose after that spot and then he lost i'm like are they trying to give roman like xbox level heat what the fuck is this dude that, that, that like i was it was insane to me i was blown away That's right. i hope gunther dethrones roman i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna keep it a buck I hope Gunther dethrones Roman. I'm going to just keep... I'm going to say it how it is. I hope Gunther def defeats Roman. Gunther or Sammy I'd be okay with. I feel like... Uh, I feel like they missed the opportunity with Sammy at Mania, though. But... Hey, boss. Did you want know to talk to me? Yes. Because uh, we were talking a little while ago about some shit. And I finally got around to having... Hello. Uh, hello. Got a quick question before I sell it elsewhere. Do you use materials? Uh, yeah, I'll take them. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, I got like fifteen hundred. Okay, sweet. All right. I'll uh, let me finish this meeting and then uh, I'll come collect that in the oxy. Okay, sounds good. All right, bye. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, uh, I know we had a meeting. Uh, we were talking about like uh, getting some info on shit before going into business. I oh spoke, yeah, the whole. I spoke to Eve. <laughs> um, so <clears throat> she told me that you know basically we wouldn't be able to sell daggers and knuckle dusters out of here because even if you swapped, you wouldn't be able to sell lockpicks at that point. Yeah. But she told me that oil filters have they're not listed under anything right now. And that if I speak to Turbo, uh, who runs the factory, I could probably get it approved. Ooh, that'd be big. And that will be huge money. That would um, actually be huge. And I'm gonna speak to Turbo. <clears throat> I have like, I've known Turbo for a very long time and I'm pretty sure I can convince him to approve it. All right. I mean, yeah, that's that's huge. So that's what. So not only am I gonna help stock this shop, it also gives me a reason to not. And he is calling me. <laughs> oh. Okay. Jeez. Yeah. Hey, let's. I needed to talk to you, and I want to catch up with you anyway. So let's link up. Motherfucking Denzel. 
I know. All right. I, I got to talk yeah. to you. Are you going to be around for a while? I'm wrapping this meeting uh, up super Yeah, quick. I'm doing uh, I'm doing payments and stuff like that for my people's. I thought I would uh, figure I would hit you up and, uh, you know, try to catch up, like I said. All right, where are you at? Uh, I am just put my van up at the Richmond. You want to meet here real quick? Yeah, I'll come through to the Richmond. I'm down the street. I'm finishing this talk I'm having with somebody, and then I'm driving over. All right, cool. I'll do All payments right. then while we're at it. All right. Talk All right, soon. sweet. Talk to you. Yeah, so he's around, so I'm literally going to try to get this approved right now. Oh, hell yeah. You want me there for that, or you want to do that one-on-one? -on -one? Uh, I'll probably... I'll try talking to him one-on-one -on -one about it, just because if he says no at first, I'm going to use... I'm going to... I'm going to guilt trip him. Yeah. I'm going to guilt trip him with our years of history. Ooh, the classic. Yeah, the... the cl I'm going to... I'm going to use the classic, so... Maybe you should take him to the docks and make him swell a little, too. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so, uh, I was talking to Eve about it. I mean, you know, I, uh, Eve's going to be running my flower shop that Andy and I bought ages ago for her. She's going to be, like, finding a storefront, and we're going to be working on that together. And, uh, Ooh. I know she told me she was, she, she said that you asked if, uh, like, if I, if I bought it, would it be, like, Cerberus? Half of it owned by Cerberus? And, uh, if I bought, like, your, your shop, you said, she said you asked her that? Uh, most recent developments, service comes under interesting, but I'd still be willing to, you know, want to work with you, kind of thing, like the partnership. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, either way, we could do it, is my point. Like, if you didn't want Cerberus involved, then it could just be me. But if you wanted Cerberus involved, then I would probably, uh, if I, let's say I bought 49%, I'd give 24% to Leslie on behalf of Cerberus, or sell it to him on behalf of Cerberus. So yeah. either way, it would it would be either a Cerberus as the minority or just forty nine percent me. Uh, I'll forty nine percent you because uh, you know uh, you are the reason why I'm a uh, Viva. You know, I, I would be some grinder for the Diamond Dogs most likely. So, uh, the most recent developments was uh, what happened recently. I don't I don't know what to think, but uh, I rather I rather be a you mean you thing. And and Leslie can, can get thing as well. I don't. I, I like I like Mister Lingberg or Mister Bolliberg as he calls himself. Mister Bolliberg. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Uh, uh, well, then we'll do the forty nine percent us, and I'll talk to Leslie about it. If we if we go that way, uh, and I'll talk to Leslie about it, and uh, you know me, you, and Leslie could have a meeting about it, and you could tell me if you uh, if you want because if Leslie's involved, it'll most likely be a Cerberus because he he'll invest on behalf of Cerberus most likely. So you could have a conversation with him about it. You know what I mean? We could keep it me and you. And I, if it's a me and you thing, even if he doesn't involve at all, I want him to drive the big pussy lock truck. Of course. Of course. And I'm, I'm thinking of buying a house, so it's easier for him to transport it. <clears throat> is this really not as a, is this finicky? Or is like, it can only park in certain places, like a big house, <laughs> uh, like Stag's house or something. Or uh, I can't park it in like that parking lot over there or something, for example. But you can? I can't. Why? It's just, it doesn't fit in the parking space. It's so... Damn. Scuffed. Jesus. Okay. But in a housing where you can tap where the garage is, uh, per se, it works. Maybe, like, the that apartment over there. I mean, we, we can always figure it out that later. If anything, I'll just park it up for him in the front of the service every day. All right. Yeah. I mean... I'll just, uh... give, him, I'll just give him the truck. What's it called? I, uh, I'm getting back into the material business. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I also, I, I've been, I've been getting my own minions, like, like I, like you're aware. I, I think you've, you've been to some of my coke deals and shit. Oh, yeah. With, so uh, I might try to get them in on getting materials. Diesel? Yeah. I might try to get them bringing me materials and, uh, put all the materials towards this place. That way we're making as much money as possible. That way you're not having to pay like fifteen hundred for lockpicks and shit like that. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't mind doing it because it was speedy and it's been good to me. Yeah. But, uh, and and cousin. So yeah. either way, I, I mean, either, I love, either way we make money. Yeah, I love speedy to death. I really do. He has like a thousand dollars to his bank account. Right now. Ain't no way. <laughs> Ain't no way. I I have get literally. In terms of like just the lockpicks wholesale, he, he I, I spent 
two million dollars on mess tables for his goon squad and then called the police on them. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It's Why? Just, it's speedy. He just he just does <laughs> he just does gun shit. This is why I prefer cousin. Ten, nine times ten. <laughs> Because the cousin, you know, he's, I know he's smart about with Speedy. He'll he'll tell me, Levi, just send it to my remember, personal account. Yeah, I, I remember talking to, to Speedy ages ago, and he wanted to pay me out for Tijuana-related shit through, <laughs> through, through, the, uh, through the casino. And I was like, Speedy, cops can track that. I'm not doing that. And then he'd be like, all right, I just sent it to you through the casino. <laughs> you know how like, many okay. times that... Respectfully, respectfully, how that motherfucker has called me, and I hear this Norwegian guy talking to me. <laughs> yeah, I missed that. I he's miss... he's done that at least ten times so far. I miss those days. I I used to uh, when I was in the South Side, I I used to walk over to the barrio, and I, and that motherfucker used to sound different all the time. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'd catch him when he was first waking up. Yeah, well, it's usually like your DJ hours where I'm doing business and like, he calls me in the middle of the night. I was like, oh, hey, hey Speedy. And I just hear that it's, it's not Speedy. Yeah. Well, I think, um, I think as, uh, well, I'm going to go have this meeting with Turbo and try to get that brought in because that that is going to be crazy money at this place. How long do you think is that? Uh, well, we're until catching cops Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, you mean cops? Um, yeah. I don't know, but like, it's I illegal, will literally right? battle them in court about that shit. I would love to see Cerebus lawyers. I, I, I will literally go. To, I will go to court. I will represent myself in that court case. That that is how confident I am that I could articulate to them that it is not illegal to have an oil filter. Yeah. Because right now, it's all clean money in there. At, at first, I was laundering money at the Big Pussies, but I don't do any legal stuff as much anymore. So right now, it's all clean money for like four months worth of books. But with the, with the, with the uh, uh, that, am I, am I allowed to ask where, where the oil rigs are coming from? The, uh, the oil, the oil, oil filters. Oil filters. Yeah. Uh... Or is it a good need to know basis one with you? Yeah, I got, I got to, uh, <laughs> got, I got to talk to the the, the people. <laughs> probably let me. I probably have a conversation with them. Okay. Because I got, I got, I, I got to talk to somebody and, and, uh, and then go from there. But uh, it was. I know. That, uh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, I know. Uh, it was promised to Psy at one point, like a long, long time ago. Like back when I was almost a lost hang around, I guess we call it. Mm -hmm. Prospect. God, that was terrible. But uh, <laughs> apparently it was supposed to go to Lucy, but then something happened. So I think it's, it's not no longer a thing anymore. I thought it was just go through Psy as a big metal man. <clears throat> I see. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, Psy probably fucked himself because Psy's a moron. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll I'll I'll, uh, new. I'll reach out and try to uh, I'll try to because that would be big. Yeah, I'm gonna try to confirm it with them, and then uh, we'll go from there. But it, it's something I had access to uh, ages ago, so it should be fine. All right, all right. Sweet. I am max stress right now. I'm gonna get some joints. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll also take some joints and get some. Uh, I'm going to go meet with Turbo. But, uh, yeah, let me know whatever you want to do with the 49%. If you want money for it or if you how you want to handle that shit. Just let me know when you want to handle that. Yeah, I'll figure it out. All right, sounds good. I don't want to touch you too much, baby. I, I really... Yeah, I miss Necro, too. I uh, I really want to involve Levi in the church stuff, in the funeral stuff, because I think Levi would run wild with that, and he would do, he would actually be loyal to that type of shit, to be honest. Hey, 
Baby, I'm down my knees. Plus, like, Levi's been always been like Denzel's guy. You know what I mean? The hot side, I, I mean, it, it mainly relied on Big Pussy, and Big Pussy isn't awake that much. I mean, Stoopley is one of the main SDSO cops, you know what I mean? I know. There there definitely is. One second. Yeah, yeah, take it. Um time. can you lock in a uh, a a a meeting with uh, with Q and we'll set something up? Beautiful. Sounds good. Okay. We'll do that. Congratulations again. Yeah, sorry about the caffeine stuff. We'll uh we'll make something work. All right. Take it easy. All right. You don't want to talk here. This is uh, I hate this place these days, and so yeah, you why don't do. We, uh, why don't we pick up a bite to eat and then we, uh, you know, yeah, like there is the not that long ago there was like spray paints and stuff around here, Denzel. What the fuck, man? Really? Yeah. Jesus. It's it's really uh, the neighborhood has really uh, fallen since I moved here a while back. You never bought a house? Nope. <laughs> And the thing is, I got money. It's just, well, you know, I put it into other stuff instead. Yeah, fair enough. I do. You know, you know uh, yeah. after coming back, I'm, I'm very happy that the factory is up and running fully. Is that it's right? Awesome to, yeah, it's awesome to see. I mean, I still remember what do you know? You what do you know about the factory? Uh, the very basics and the you shit that take you a tour? told me ages ago. You sure. want a factory tour? Sure, All right, let's, let's do, do it. it. Okay, uh, let's grab food. Let me first. mark it for you. Okay. Yeah, let's grab uh, food and I'll give you a quick little uh, little tour and we'll talk a bit. Yeah. But yeah, I appreciate that. You know, uh... Look, I remember yeah, you approving know, it when I was the fucking mayor, okay? <laughs> so I, I mean, yeah. I remember how long it's been. Yeah, along with the other businesses, man. I'm, uh... At some point, I have to put those two you, to use as well. Yeah, God fucking... Uh, I, I would love for us to do some God Kingsman shit, to be honest, but, uh... I'm Denzel, curi I'm curious. I would love to get into shit period honestly these days yeah i'm dying out here denzel <laughs> it's uh i gotta i i i yeah. fucking uh i think i'm finally getting around now that i'm back and i've been settled in for a few weeks i'm finally getting around i'm gonna get somebody to decorate smoking gun is and the smoking gun that is a name i haven't heard in a bit i know i'm gonna get it decorated fully you you, uh -huh. you you watch Peaky Blinders, right? Of course. You know the pub from uh, oh, like season one. Oh, is that right? I want to get it set up like that for a sm oh, cigar old time cigarette. Shit, huh? Yeah, 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 and have a smoke lounge either upstairs or behind it. By the way, my uh, is my voice sounding a little cracklier, weird, or no? Are we good? I think it's good. I, I I'm like okay. one of the worst people to ask about I mean, that like, shit. Cracklier than usual, I guess. No, it sounds, you sound crisp. It sound like I've been smoking for 40 years, but. How's it going? Hey, hey how's it going? We get, uh, can we get two combos? Sir. The old rooster. You ever come gamble here? Uh, no. Last time I gambled was at the casino and I won 1.3 million. Yeah. You kind of just quit while you're ahead if you win that much. Yep. What did y'all want in a, What did y'all want in particular? Anything special? Or just chef's choice. Mm, chef's choice for me. All right, Miss Williams. Yeah, chef's choice. All right. I wanna touch. So what? Uh, you know this is very odd because I've I've noticed other people as well. Then so kind of like uh, coming back, as they say, you know. Getting bursts of like inspiration. It's crazy, actually. I just talked to Odessa not too long ago. Really? That's my help. Yeah. Hey, yeah, we're waiting for our food already. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, yeah. for me, it was just uh, the perfect storm happened, you know? 
I hear that. Uh, you got to seize the moment with those happen. Exactly. So here I am. All right. Uh, the combos here on the tray. All right. You already paid Denzel, or do we got to pay? Yeah, I already paid. Ah, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Uh, give me Justin. Yep. Oh. Take your time. Yep. All right, orders up. You guys are still wearing the rooster's hat, huh? That's great. I love it. Yeah. Bidding to the uh, bid. Teddy here just started with us. Ah. Oh, you wear it well, Teddy. Yeah, Appreciate you're, you're it. doing a great job, too. You're doing a great job, so, yeah. It's on the uh, tray right here for yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm trying, to, right. trying to grab it. Uh, My hands are... <laughs> well, we can go ahead and talk. Um... Carrying all this food. Yeah, we can go ahead and talk, because... Um... All right. I don't want you to stay Let's roll. longer if you don't. If you don't All right, glory to the cock. Longer, you know? yeah. yeah, glory to the cock. Right, glory so to the cock as well. <laughs> yeah, I know. Turbo makes me miss Sizz too. All right. And then when I'm more around Sizz, I end up missing Turbo when I haven't seen him in a while. Yep. Yep, there he goes. I can't believe you still got this card, Denzel. I know. Some things never change. I just, it screams me, you know. I think it, people you know see what? a white emperor and they just, yeah. they think Denzel Williams. Listen, you, you, correct me if I'm wrong, but you had this car even when other people were using it to store their shit. Remember that? Uh... Remember when the whole city just bought these to, like, store all their crap? Yeah, yeah, I've had this. I had this I thought since you had, Yeah, I thought you Pegasus had this since even then. I've oh, had this yeah. since like the first two weeks of the city. Fucking Pegasus. Yeah, but I've had whatever this happened from... to that? Uh, hard run on a security company in Los Santos. That's what people don't. Yeah, we, we would just <laughs> shoot each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like security security firms people just treat them as a challenge and say like, "Oh, you're security, really? Well, yeah. You're kind of taunting me to shoot you then." It, I mean, it worked well for what it was. Uh, it really ended up oh, becoming dear. just executing people, to be honest. That, that's honestly what it boiled down to. Hey, so that's needed too. I mean, you know, you remember Danny Doodle? You remember that freak? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. I remember. Tr I remember trying to get him for you because you told me about that, and I yep. I tried to like set up a a meeting or something with him. Yeah, I mean, that freak is a perfect example. Like Pegasus days, I cut off his pinky, made him dig his own grave, and then shot next to yeah. his ear. And yeah. then kicked him into the grave, like, to ah, scare the it. shit out of him. And, uh, yeah, he spent the next eight months, like, idolizing me, hating me, and becoming a psychopath. And he became <laughs> like me and tried to come after me, and then he got good murdered. Good lord. He was the guy that was drawing all the pictures, right? Yeah. He was that good. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> ah. He had, he even had, like, uh, he had, like, an artwork of, like, me, like, my suit arm, my suit jacket with, like, the red undershirt. With the black suit gloves, cutting a man's pinky off. Oh, like like it's like a like like cake type of thing, like like it's like a food plate. Interesting. And it, oh, did we just get scoped out? By yeah, we did. We did. We did. We just nice. people like got rolled up on. They're like oh, that guy's yeah. an emperor. Probably not. Oh. A, probably not a gangbanger. Yeah. Jesus. Probably not. Yeah, I mean. Listen, uh, I always appreciate good cleaners. Uh, I've used them in the past. They come in handy. So, <laughs> you know. Yeah. I said that demand sometimes isn't as always as high because people just do this shit themselves. Yeah, you're not wrong. I mean, but, you, you but know, it's dumb though. You need the good ones. That's the thing. You need the good yeah, ones. Like the ones for me, the professional like, ones. like even I sometimes use people. You know what I mean? And like I can get mm. shit done. But like when I've got a lot on my plate, I'll just ask somebody else to do something for me. You know? Or sometimes you just don't want something tied back directly to you. Yeah. I know. Uh, I know. But yeah. This is this is it right here to our right. This is my baby, the factory. Mm, 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 mm. Soon to be a gang compound near you. Put yeah. some towers up. We're gonna lock up these gates. I'm um, put some, uh, you know, some drywall to kind of peek around from. It's gonna be fantastic. You're gonna love it. Yeah, back in the day, mm -hmm. the casino 
You're, you mean uh, the uh, not the casino, the fucking um, go this way. The bank trucks. Yeah. You remember that? Oh God, yeah. This is this used to be called the this, fortress. This is the old bank or the truck. castle yeah. i think people we call this the castle or the fortress yeah this is the old yep. bank truck spot yep. uh you'd you'd go and you park something and then you'd hold up up there yep and then they <laughs> then people found out you could camp the bridge and kill people from the bridge to the roof so then <laughs> yep. the whole thing changed and then people were trying to figure out how the hell to get at each other it was yep. yeah i know I, I i'm aware of the history at least of the place yeah. This is Diane. She uh, she works here with us. She she handles a lot of uh, she assists us in our production capabilities and such. I see. I see. I see. Yeah. That's um, probably like for here, the people inside. tied to his whitelist. That's cool. I've been doing a bit of prepping. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Like this. Oh gosh. Give it a second here. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been prepping, Denzel. Okay. Listen, when it, from meteors to talking rats to uh, militias to drone strikes to planes, every oh, the world's gonna end, Denzel. Okay, <laughs> it's coming. I don't know when, but it's happening. <laughs> and I've been preparing, Denzel. I've uh, built my factory a bit of a makeshift bunker with um. There's a little bit of overgr overgrowth on it. It kind of seems like the world ended in here, and then it's been like a few years since it ended. But uh, you know. It's uh, I, I've been preparing this. I've been stockpiling supplies and stuff. You know, keep that between us. Yeah, of course. I worked Holy out a shit. few deals for like fuel and medical services and with other businesses. And we're kind of just keeping it low key. We're, you know, uh, when it happens, we'll be ready to rebuild society, essentially. Oh, this looks sick. Yeah, I've been having my people uh, go around grabbing supplies and stuff. Every once in a while, they go around, they grab supplies. They have other people in the city go around and grab supplies and uh some oh man it, it, is it just me that I, like, like i get kicked out an hour and 50 minutes it, like it, it can't just be me that it gets kicked out every two hours or at this at the two hour mark it's always the same fucking time Let me message science tell them I'm fucking three and cute. Server can't handle Turbo and Denzel together, I guess. True facts. What's up, Abby? I like I swear it can't just be me, chat. Even I I I messaged science and Cheever and told them, and told them that uh that you know just because I didn't want anybody to be waiting on me, and even Cheever just said she just crashed. Can't be me. Can't be me. It's definitely a server thing. Facts. Can't be me, Copium. Hello, boy. Hello. Hello. Hello, puppy. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, mister. Hello. Can I help you? Hello. What? 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 Hello. Hello. Hello, good boy. Yes, you're my good boy. Hello. Don't lick my hand. You're such a door. Well, yeah. 
Go lay down, mister. You do not want to roughhouse with me right now. I will mess you up, little boy. Stop licking me. <laughs> Stop licking me. Dork. Stop fucking licking me, you dork. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Go lay down. Go sit. Go sit. Go sit, good boy. Go sit. What was that? What was that, mister? What was that? You growling, mister? Okay. Hello? Sneezing? Okay, I'm gonna try. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Chat with her, get some quotes, uh, have her uh, let us know what, you know, and then you can talk to me and then we can set up a budget for that too if you want. All right. Oh, yeah. Of course. Absolutely. We got to stay on brand. Okay. Beautiful. Yep. Absolutely. Please talk to her. And then send me a, you guys send me an update. Uh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll figure it out. All right. Bye bye. Freeze your dog, box your pit bull. Sorry about that. That's all good. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Uh, this is a factory. This is the main factory floor. This is where we handle some aspects of production, uh, depending on what the needs are. So I guess. I'll give you like the I guess like the spiel is essentially the, the factory you know we kind of handle uh, everything that you can produce at at the we can do the custom stuff for the things that you can produce at the at storefronts you know the storefronts you you basically are limited to your, just your generic shit you know and then here we can we produce um, the customized stuff right according to their specifications their schematics and all that and then Every order that we've done here, Denzel, it's always delivered and it's, it's taken in and it's delivered in person by somebody here. So in a sense, we're also even like a, I have like a mini dodo here, you know, that we're doing deliveries constantly. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, I was supposed to partner with those guys, but, you know, shit happens. Um, uh, what else? Then uh, we also do factory products, which are like... Um, if you've seen like all the collectible stuff, you know, more customized, like very custom make, we make that all here at the factory, Every, uh, you know, our producers make them here. And then we also deliver them. Uh, there's a two state products, which have like a, a beginning and a resulting, uh, state. So, uh, for example, you can make products that, I don't know, like they start off in a package and then they can unbox it and then, you know, they get their product. Uh, we've done stuff where like, for example, some a business did one where there were statues that were. It was kind of like uh, not archaeology, but kind of uh, they were doing some type of um, antiques. Okay. And the statues started off dirty. Then they, you know, then they cleaned them up as well for get them ready for you know for sale and stuff. Um, did things like uh, there's even things where you could do little vouchers, so they the tickets right, mm -hmm. and then your clients or your uh, your uh, people can tear off the stub and hand the stub back to somebody and then that voucher is good for something you know, yeah, it's, it's good sick. yeah stuff like that you can do basically your your creativity is kind of like the limit really um you know and people have come up with a lot of uh, really cool stuff for them so you know uh we also have other product types um if for example have you ever seen pablo lado's the tickets uh, you ever no, see those I, like the scratch offs no, that not. he used to do? He used to sell scratch offs. Uh, I mean, I remember him selling them. Yeah, I've never yeah. seen them. Yeah, we we make those. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so uh, you can you can scratch them off, you know, and, and you get it's like a it's like a random basically it's a random outcome, in a sense. And and so we yeah we make those to order as well. We, we you know they give them they give us their uh, you know 
the prizes that they won, we kind of build up a big batch of them and things like that. So, yeah, among uh, among many other things, that's kind of like uh, what we can do. So Yo, you were mentioning the wanting to talk bomb. about stuff, right? Um, I did have one thing to bring up to you. I I I mean, I was I was gonna talk to you. I just might want to catch up. But uh, okay. I did have something I did want to bring up because I think it's. Let's I, I was told that it's something you'd have to approve. This is my clean room, by the way. This is where we handle all the anything that involves circuitry, microchips, you know, all that kind of, type of stuff. Uh, we do it in there. Uh, don't mind that. That's an old cloning vat uh, that no longer works. Uh, <clears throat> used it one time and then, you know. Who'd you clone? Uh, hmm. Remember, uh, remember how Sizz had a son? Like a while back, yeah, he had a baby, yeah. That wasn't it. Really, his son. It it was his clone. And um, at what one point, fuck? I at one point I delivered like fifty of them, all of them in little in little tubes, in little hibernation chambers. Yeah, and we had them uh, stockpiled up in a in a little uh, container. I don't know what happened to that. Probably still there, waiting for one day for a sis to unleash him. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, and uh, they were they were they were mostly good, but the problem was that um, the rapid aging techniques uh, caused them to uh, become very violent at, after a certain age. So, it, uh, you know, I guess good for certain things, but. Uh, not just in general. So you could you you could clone me. Denzel, I don't think I don't think the world would be ready for more than one of you. You don't think so? <laughs> I don't I don't I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, you you'd have to raise them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, so maybe something we could, you know, we Do you think they'd be like more violent oh. than me? Uh, it, it, well, this is kind of like a nurture versus nature type discussion now that we're having, but, but yes, potentially. Yes. I think, well, maybe, maybe just as violent, but maybe quicker to get there, you know, like faster yeah, to go zero to one hundred. a version of me? and left uh, him in the middle of the woods. He would be feral, Denzel. With like a knife against the world. We'd waste, we'd basically be making Wolverine at this point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd be down for that. Hey, what up, Lang? Yeah, I know you would. Hey, Denzel, what you doing, what you oh, doing, Lang, what you doing? To to I'm catching up with Turbo. He, uh, he said that he needs to talk to you, actually. Well, I want to just, I want to ask him. Uh, sure, about where about you guys the, at? Pablo Lado. Uh, we're at the, we're at the factory. Do you, you know where that's at? Uh, yes. Oh, you're right there. Yeah, all right. Sounds good. See ya. Bye bye. Where is he rolling up? Yeah, he's coming. Can we? Are right, you want to meet him outside? Then? Yeah, he's so Yeah, so do. this is that. Uh, these are, and then the rest of this is like, I wanted a lot of little meeting spaces, you know, for, yeah, for it's our people. Yeah, cool as fuck. To meeting, be meeting clients. I was, you can see, I, I like, love the layout. The layout is sick. Yeah, there's old products kind of scattered around. I, I, when I had this place done, I wanted, I specified that I wanted like a lot of open space. I wanted it to feel kind of vast, you know? Uh, yeah. These are some cubicles that some of our employees work at Who and made such. This? You know, uh, Q, Q did this. Oh, yeah, this looks awesome. Yeah, Q, Q's done a, quite a bit of work uh, for clients and stuff. This is a, an office that I'm supposed to work on, but I've just haven't, I haven't been around. So, <laughs> yeah, fair enough. It's, it's kind of just like, you know, well, one day I'll turn this into my lab. I'll, I'll get the business thing I wanted to talk to you about out of the way. That yeah, way, when he okay. rolls up, we can all talk about whatever you need to talk about, and then I'm sure I mean, all shit to talk about. Mine is mainly like a quick question, so you know, gotcha. we can shoot the shit. Has he ever way. seen this place? Uh, he has not seen it in this state. He he'd, saw it when it he'd when it first love opened up. This place, to be honest, this yeah, place he looks saw sick. he saw it when it first opened up. But yeah, so this is the old office. So I'm you know I'm kind Ooh, of uh okay, yeah, okay. We'll, hey, let's up, go Kate? down there and then we'll give uh we'll give Lang a tour as well. Um, so you want to talk about yours thing? Yeah. So yeah. E I brought it up to Eve, and she said that it it would something you'd have to approve. 
um, for okay, a storefront to sell something because it's not in any category. Ah, uh, okay. So I'll tell you, from my point of view, the current status of things are that, as far as I'm aware, right? Mm -hmm. Um, we're gonna be we're taking more direction from, or, or we will be taking more direction from this uh, Aegis thing, as far as I know, because they're gonna be doing more of the enforcement. Well, I think stuff. she's involved in it. Yes, but, and she said I've it spoken would be, to her. Yeah, and she said it would be you that I'd have to get permission from for this. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do that then. I mean, I imagine. So this is stuff that I'm trying to iron out with them as to. Yeah. You know, be, uh, the process because I'm more. Uh, I am like less involved than I used to be. I see. Okay. In in the in the process, um, I've I've been less involved like maybe for a couple months now. Yeah. Um, like well, even Nancy, for example, they they're in charge of storefront locations, right? Approvals. Yeah. I, we still do products and stuff, but potentially with this Aegis thing. There might be uh, there might be a shift in that dynamic. I'm still trying to understand, uh, you know, like the yeah. end or like the well, overall basically, thing with them. you know, uh, basically I might What's be the uh, my, an oil filter. Ah, uh, <laughs> this question has come up before, Denzel. Really? Uh, okay. Hey, Lang, how's it going? What's going on, boys? How y'all doing? Good, uh, good. We're just good. catching up a little bit and talking about oil filters. Have you now. Seen, you you have you ever seen his? Uh, his, you've never seen his place, have you, Lang? No. This place looks you, sick. You were here with Dini uh, a while back, and then, but we never, uh, we hadn't finished out the uh, the interior yet. Oh, I want to see uh, it. I want to see yeah, it. Yeah, let's take a look. Come on, step inside. I've been preparing for a while. All right, welcome. Oh my God. Yeah, we got a. Uh, this is where all the products are made, boys. Uh, take a look. This is the general factory area. This is the incinerator over here. You can actually uh, toss stuff in there, and uh, wow, you know, it, it gets it gets cleaned out at the end of the day, at the end of the shift. This looks unreal. Holy thank, cow! Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, Q does good work. This who, is the general who made this? Was Q uh, Q Quimbley. Quimbley. Quimbley Quimbley Yeah Quimbley Hayabusa. Hell yeah! Yeah. This, this is, is a general factory floor. This is where we do products and stuff. As you can see, uh, Lang, I've been doing a lot of preparing. Uh, uh, I would say about a, a month or so ago, I became aware of things in the world, Lang. Uh, how do I say this? <laughs> Meteors are falling out of the sky, Lang. We're getting attacked by planes and drones. Uh, I even got attacked by an alien here a while back. The world yeah, is ending, trust Lang. me, I know, I know, I know. It's just been fucking crazy. <laughs> Doomsday is coming. And I've been preparing yes, a bit. I've been making deals for uh, for supplies. For example, uh, Ron Oil uh, potentially is going to hook us up with uh, a tank for uh, you know gasoline and stuff to kind of keep uh, out of storage away from here, so that oh, when things yeah. you know when things end, uh, we can still kind of rebuild society. And anyway, so yeah, it's got a bit of a Last of Us vibe to it, you know, overgrowth and such around. Uh, but you know, it's still a functioning factory. End of the day. This is uh, this is my clean room. This is where everything with circuitry, microchips, you know, it's things very like sanitized. that. Sanitized. Thank you so much. Yes, it's uh, we put a lot of effort into doing that. Uh, I was telling him, oh, that's an old uh, cloning vat that we used to have, but uh, it's it's been out of service for a while. Uh, we we got to use it one time and then um, went to shit. And <laughs> uh, let's just say we had to scrap that experiment. Uh, okay. Okay. The clones were aging really fast and becoming violent. All is all I can really clones, say. Clones, right? Just, just no big deal. Just cloning motherfuckers. Well, it, it, it's not like fully grown clones. They, they had to start as, uh, you know, infants to, you know, to babies, and that's about <laughs> as far as it got. Then, like, the side effects started to kick in. We had to scrap mm. it, uh, and that's just a relic of that, just kind of still in there. Interesting. Okay, this is yeah. uh, this is kind of creepy now. <laughs> well, it's no. It, it, you shouldn't be creeped out. You know, come on. It's just. I don't know. We have uh, other machinery and other products that we've done here. You know, just oh, kind this, of. You this, know, I didn't even see this. You gotta test this, them out. this corner is. Oh, this corner is fucking God. sick. I didn't even this, see this, this corner right here. Like this. My God. <laughs> yeah, you like it? My Lord, my God. <laughs> My goodness. Oh my god. You're getting a little my 
God. Okay. All right. Oh my Lord. Uh, okay. Jesus Almighty. Here, okay. Christ. Yeah. All right. Okay. Lang. Amen. Lang. Lang. Amen. Come on. Man. Reel it back in, Lang. Reel it back Holy in. Holy shit. Sorry head in the that. game. It's okay. It's yeah, I, I, head in the game. Head in the game. My yeah, God. You got yeah. any more of these statues lying around? Uh, I would like to uh, buy a couple. <laughs> you can do a little something, I think. Yeah, of course. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we have the love testing machine as well there. Uh, if you could, so the rest of this right. space is just uh, a lot of meeting spaces. You know, when we, we meet with clients or we meet with uh, amongst each other here with the, with the crew. A couple of cubicles for them will work out of. Yeah, up here is like a general little it's meeting like, area. This hits that vibe so fucking well, too. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. I love I, like, like just like the whole look like it just looks it, sick like the yeah, open the looks amazing and the, yeah it, it's just all of it's really cool uh, a Fuck detail him. that I that I gave is uh, I want it to be spacious I want it to feel vast you know kind of like uh, yeah, very definitely open feels and vast a larger than life type of feel to it open no. you can I can stand up here and look at the you know at the at the staff working on items you know uh, oh, yeah. and yell at them from up here you know like, hey. You know, pull up that hair, put it back in your hat. Don't want this sticking right. on the hey, machine. Stop and... twerking on the statue. Yeah, stop twerking. <laughs> stop twerking yeah, stop on the statue. That's that what Lang does. It's my statue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, well, I'm I don't. Up on that. <laughs> okay, you. So you want? Oh, no, we'll talk about that later. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, would like, so, I would like to buy a couple. Yeah. Okay, got. But you wanna, you wanna, you wanna fuck them though, Lang. You wanna be able to fuck uh, them? What I do in my private time is. Nice. Well, no, <laughs> well, if you. Here's the thing. I need to know that because if you do, then I need to adjust a few things on the statue. Oh, if you, you know worry about it, you give me that statue exactly the way it looks like. Okay, so I don't need to drill the holes in it. Don't worry about it. Got <laughs> okay, for that. got it. Because then we'd have to, like, you know, size it and all that, you know. Okay. Got <laughs> it. You do what you got it. You, you, oh. you put that in my, uh, never mind. On your wish list? Yeah. I, I I I fear to think what else is on that wish list, Lang. As uh, as Sebastian, you fucking worry seen? about it. As, as listen, okay. Last time I talked to listen, listen, last time I talked to Pip Squeak, okay. He came. I I brought him over. I was talking to him all business, and then he goes, "Hey, I gotta go race. I gotta go do a race real <laughs> oh, quick." One, give me one sec, guys. My food's here. So that sounds yeah, just yeah. like some. Yeah, he goes. It's back. It's back over here. Give me a sec. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I, hmm. He's about to have a snack. All right, look at him. Oh my God! He cannot keep it. Look at this guy. Okay, I did not expect. The funny thing is, I didn't even yeah. see that statue the first time around. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, oh, he can't. No, I can. Mm -mm. <laughs> he's he's going in. He's going in on that. Oh yeah. So this is our lab over here. Okay. So anything that has to do with chemicals, you know, any uh, what the biohazardous, fuck? toxic, you know, this would have been useful. stuff that goes uh, that goes here. You know, we we do a bit of tinkering. We work out, uh, you know, chemical uh, compounds and such over here. We do our some testing as well. All right, and yes, here is uh, my little workshop. What can I say? my little workshop you know we do some tinkering i do some testing of products here as well uh a lot of the prototypes get produced right here before they become mass produced over here this is where we do a lot of uh product testing we talk about products we go over uh you know uh yeah this certain is products sick. We, you know oh you need to speak up i said this is sick this is one of my yeah. like i i love this little corner area it yeah is, it's fucking awesome ah uh, which one this one right here or the other one all of it honestly but yeah. I like this little area. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So the oil yeah. filter's been brought up before, by the way. Yes, it has. Um, there's been people in the past that have wanted to sell it. Uh, I, that's, that's, that's 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 what I want to do at one shop. Uh, mm. Because it's not illegal, surprisingly. Well, turns out that it is apparently. Since um, when? I spoke to I spoke to police officers and I spoke to I believe was Crane. And they basically said, we know what it's used for. I, yes, that's the, that is actually what I was told. But if there's nothing illegal for it, then at that point, aren't the, oil, aren't, aren't the oil filters, you know, you put them on the and they go, pew, pew, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, silent. yeah, 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 that, that, yeah, that is. But my point is, if there's mm -hmm. nothing that makes it illegal, then 
it, it's not even like there's nothing illegal about it and it's not even like nobody's even like it's not marked for like uh, to be taken away as well yup i that is why the whole kind of question came up about it i i like i said i reached out to them and they said no we know what it's used for that's exactly what i was told okay i i mean yeah, uh, yeah. interesting oh, I, I mean lang I, over here lang on the other oh he's dead oh he's fine oh just like he, he's like a cat yeah i know that that's essentially what i was told the yeah, uh, this place is crazy they said they we know what it's used for and so it's a no interesting i know if you got if you listen you got the mayor right here i'm saying if if oh uh oil filters you know where uh, you can put them on your uh pistolas and uh, you know it makes them a little uh quieter what oh <laughs> yeah we, so oil filters aren't illegal uh obviously because they're oil filters and uh yeah they don't get it, it, but you can put them on a gun yeah. and uh apparently you know uh, i was trying to see if you could we'd be able to uh, sell them at a shop yeah because they're not illegal and you can put them on the ends of guns yeah they're essentially makeshift suppressors where the heck do you get those things at when do you get those things at these days uh i don't know <laughs> you don't I know i one actually i kind of want to see it in action but uh but basically uh yeah I, I i would really like to uh i'd really like sell to sell them. them out of a shop because they're not illegal and then yeah, if they ever where came, you get them from i'm confused <laughs> well i would have to call people but i i, denzel, used to I feel like we're gonna have to know where you get them from denzel i feel like we're gonna have to know yeah yeah for me lang to decide if he can sell these or not we're gonna have to get the full scope of what you're working with here, and so including who you yeah, get them right, from, right. when you get them from, when, how long ago, how many, can you get them right now, so we can go out and shoot stuff for like a outback or something. Do do we? Hmm? Okay. What? I'd have to make a phone call or two. Okay. Why well, you have to get permission, huh? You have to get permission to see no. if you can tell us. That's right. Facts. Big After facts. all we've been through, Denzel. That's right, big facts. I literally smuggled you back into the state. <laughs> you remember that? Yes, I yeah, do remember tell. that. I do remember yeah. that. Wait, do you remember that? I do. So fucking tell us. Yeah. You you really want another situation where somebody knows this shit? Who am I gonna Wait, tell? Knows what? You, you know, you know. Who knows? Me knows? Or you Trump know. Knows? Yes, you know. You. He's looking at you, Link. You know who sells this? Yes! Holy shit. Oil That's why Lang is... <laughs> yes! I swear Lang is the best person to tell secrets to. He just, <laughs> you'll forget him, like, right after. Who the fuck sells him? What the fuck do you mean? Denzel, Wait, are you I talking can, about can... real suppressors or actual oil filters? I'm confused. Same now. shit. Same people. So the same people sell real suppressors and discount suppressors. Why? <laughs> don't don't ask me why, but they do. Wait, a, yeah, that that they'd be like undercutting themselves. Uh, yeah, they're, they're be... literally undercutting themselves. It makes no sense. Yeah, well, you know, maybe one of them is for like the rich people, and then the other one's for the guys that well, are barely can, getting by. You can put an oil filter on the edge of a long long barreled shotgun. Whoa. Oh, okay. No, I'm trying to understand. Okay. Yeah. But uh, either way, it's not illegal. Yeah. I'd, I'd have to double check because, uh, you know, this was one of my ideas back in the day. But yeah. uh, they're not listed under any charge. They're not marked for seizure and they're not illegal. They're just an oil filter. So I don't right. understand mm -hmm. why they wouldn't be able to be sold out of a shop until they're at so, least illegal. So what I was telling Denzel Lang is that I, when this came up like a while back ago, when we were first categorizing the products, all, all the products in the city, because uh, Dean asked us to do that, uh, I, this came up with this, and I approached some cops and Crane about this, and I was told, essentially, we know what they're for, no. Yeah, but why, Crane doesn't get to decide that, unless he was told by higher uh, I guess it, I guess in essence it's like 
since we know what they're used for, it would basically be you selling suppressors at a shop. So no. I understand the angle, yeah. but what well, then it should be illegal. Trying, what city are we trying to live in, though? Yeah, I, I mean, and then it should be illegal at that point. Like, yeah, then if, you make oil filters illegal, and they ask why, be like because they're suppressors. Yeah. And that's just, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. It's like on one end you want the I ability to here, disguise this would prove them. My point about it, the, it really uh, would prove your yeah. point, but you know, oh. it, it 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 is the perfect example of. Why is there? Why? Why are you just saying no, but not making it illegal? <laughs> Boy, guys, welcome to my world. This is what I've been dealing with for months now. Okay, <laughs> right there, over and over again, battles over this type of shit. I'm fucking tired. Yeah, but do you? <sighs> anyway, Turbo, sorry, do sorry. you know who told you no specifically? Was it a senator thing or was it a crane thing? I, I, it was a crane thing, as far as I know. I don't know if he reached out to anybody else. And then I also spoke with some cops. To kind of get like their perspective yeah, but on cops opinions are just like with the cops i gave them a list of stuff right and then mm -hmm. the, the, that was one of the ones that they go they went like eh, it wouldn't be but yes i agree like if it's listen okay, if i mayor, spoke to crane and i got his stamp of approval would you approve it yep okay i'll try to speak to crane i mean if you got listen you got the mayor right here if there was something that was like hey it was like official from the state and stuff go for it like we'll 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 add it to a category or something like that, and then you know it can be worked with. I just I'm gonna be honest, like to, to keep it a buck. If it is not illegal, which I I'll, I will go double check right after this. If it's not yeah. illegal, which I don't think it is, and it's not marked as being taken by the state, which it isn't. Yeah, why as far the as I know, fuck it's not, would it? Why would, as, you know? At that point, you either a the it should be on the state to make it illegal, like the DOJ or the cops to push for it to be illegal. I don't understand why they're doing the lazy middle ground. Yeah I, yeah, I mean, again, I think it's one of those where it's like, it can only be used for one thing. It doesn't have any other uses. So well, I mean, we okay. know what it is. You know what lock I mean? Lockpicks like, are I only else. used to break into houses and cars. Uh, why are lockpicks uh, not illegal? That's by the that exact ground? example that has been brought yeah, up. I mean, it is. The thing is, is you're entering. Hey, don't people bring this shit up? Because then you just I open know. up like this slippery slope. Yeah, no, not I, you guys. I'm talking about like, I need to understand a full story, right? Yeah. Because exactly. if this is a senator thing, then we just don't talk about it. It is what it is. But if I this is, not, yeah. if this is a crane decision uh, with some officers or whatever, then you have to have a conversation. Because I, don't, I think a conversation needs to be had. Because I think it was just like a quick in the moment. How would the DOJ see this? Would the DOJ go after a store? If they were selling these, and that's in essence, you know, kind of like the gist that I was given is that let's say for I was giving an example of like, let's say somebody is caught up with one of these, right? And they were caught using it in that type of way. Um, then they could say, all right, where did this person get this from? And then they could say, oh, uh, it was at such and such store. Maybe they look up their bank records or something and say, oh, they bought this at this store. Okay, now this store is selling that stuff that is used for that. Let's go after them. Look, this is an easy. Uh, to me, it just seems like such an obvious of. E even I'll give you like the easiest hmm. example without crossing into the lines I don't want to cross into is yeah when new drugs are on the streets and they're not illegal, people sell that shit legally. People just are so reckless with selling it because it's not illegal yet. Right. Yeah. It's very similar. Like, uh, where, lean. right? Exactly. Or back in the day, um. That shit was in prison, Lang. Do you remember what I'm talking about? That uh, ketamine. Uh, ketamine. Ketamine wasn't illegal at first. Ah, yes. Shit okay, like that. that. It, there's no legislation. There's no laws about it, and people sell it very recklessly. These things, these oil yeah. filters, have been things for six fucking months, over a year, because it was back before I left. It was a thing, and was they still haven't done shit about it. So, like, you know, little quick random thought here. The only person that has the balls in the city to spam call me is fucking Shelly, and it really drives me drives me up a fucking wall. Burger lady? Yeah. <laughs> um, fucking third call in the past ten seconds. Jesus Christ, my own. Leave me the fuck alone. Maybe you gotta answer it one time and yell at her. But here, but here's another then. example, right? Hmm. My wingsuits are used ninety eight percent of the time to escape the police. I'm gonna take your word for that. But you know what I'm saying, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see where. Yeah. Um, like if you're selling oil filter, like I, see, my intent is not to sell those for people to get away from crime. It's just to use them. Exactly. My intent of selling an oil filter is for people to filter their oil. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think, yeah. I think what happens is that like every once in a while, these questions come up, right? And kind of people apply like their thoughts on a subject to them. And then it kind of carries from there. And then eventually there's like different perspectives or thoughts on certain subjects. Yeah, but I, of, think like, you can't, I think you can't look at shit like that unless, I know. unless it's yeah. a fucking set. If it's a senator's, what they say goes, right? Yep. Anybody else, if I was a judge and you came to me and said, what do you think of oil filters? I'm not going to think like, or, or, or you tell me, what do you think of fertilizer? I'm not going to be like, oh, somebody can build a bomb with that. You're not going to sell that in your storefront. Yeah. <laughs> I just got to think of it logically. Facts. Fertilizer, it's used to fertilize soil, grow shit. Yeah, that's good to go. Mm. You know what I mean? It, it's, 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 it's crazy to me that people jump to, you can't do this, rather than like, I don't know, if cops have a problem with oil filters maybe being sold legally, they could look into where they're acquiring it and then build up yes. knowledge knowing that these people are selling them to use them on guns, shit like that. Like, people always I, jump to the, uh, the immediate I have a shit. similar mentality, I would say, that, like, hey, if, if that were to be the case, uh, let let that, let it be dealt with then. Let, you know, people deal with it, and then uh, maybe, the, I don't know, things come up or something. Some, maybe something happens, rather than, like, uh, killing something before it even has a chance to for anything I that's don't know. the big thing right like a lot of people just tend to uh like like oh. <clears throat> i know i know yeah I know, they're I know, oil I filters know. you're yeah. their oil filters yeah. for a reason it's no, probably lang, too... i know what they really are lang all right there's no, you can't put oil <laughs> filters in cars lang i know this you get what I'm saying? If somebody this, makes oh, oil like filters I illegal, I hope a cop goes around and charges everybody for driving a car with an oil filter in it. Because I think that would be fucking hilarious. I will never change okay. my oil filter. See, I, I need to jump down this rabbit hole now. <laughs> Do Fuck, you? Norman Adams is the only judge around. Yeah, that's... I sh yeah, that's... Oop. I'm going to call Crane. So, I'll give, you, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a backstory, Lang, okay? Because this might open up a wider scope as well. So, okay. This first started, or this started a while back when I got questions ab about this kind of stuff, right? But also about, for example, the lifers back in the day, they wanted to, you know, they wanted to do an, a little operation where they would, some of the products that they would make in the prison, right? You know, they, they could make several things over there. Uh, they, you know, they wanted to set up a shop, maybe, uh, maybe have a deal with like the rest of the city where they could produce things, you know, they could then be sold to like the populace, uh, things like that. You know, it's just something for them else to 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 do and i was completely on board on that and we were kind of you know trying to make that happen and then we wanted I, I basically got a list of the things that they could do and i passed that list on and based on that things were marked as no and may, things were marked up as maybe but i think it, it resulted with yeah most of these things are going to be a no because <laughs> there's stuff like shanks and you know all this other stuff in there yeah, I mean, that just sounds like a fucking mess, honestly. Welcome, yeah, my life, you know, for a while at least. Yeah. It's, it's like it's like if I get, I guarantee you, if I bought fifty burner phones and went like, I want to start a cell phone store, they probably deny. It. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. They'd be like, yeah, you know probably. what those are for? You, you know, know what, you know what I mean? I, it says like, burner phone without on the land. You can't. Like, I I literally yeah. see yeah, I see. I'm I'm the type of guy where. I now want to come to you, Turbo, and see if the factory mm. can make me oil filters. And I want to just start selling uh, them out of like a mechanic shop, yeah. out of fucking spite, because Listen, I, I, I'm a spiteful with the, asshole. You know, you mix yeah. in the good ones with yep, and we do them in like different colors and stuff. Exactly. And I, I gotta uh, return his phone calls. I'll be outside, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. Some motherfuckers just keep calling. Oh, Lang, I had a quick question for you before. Uh, What's up, uh, Pablo Lotto? What the hell is that? Is uh, that a thing? I wash my hand cleans that. Okay, got it. So Turbo. then, Pablo's that shit was a shit show. I well, you yes, I mean, I I I, I kind of understood, but I just want to make sure you guys didn't have like a contract or something filled out. I didn't know the extent of the partnership with Cerberus. Uh, I think we did, but I think we just washed our hands clean of it. Pablo is the, one of the worst business people I've ever worked with in my life. Okay. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I mean, listen, Lotto Company, though, I think there's so much opportunity for money exactly. there. It's crazy. That's what I said. I said that to Eve today. I, I said I the, think uh, the fact here, that here that the idea thing. might just fall to the side now is actually a tragedy because I, a state-sponsored think... or just even just like a private Lotto Company is uh, insane for the things you could do, boys. And I'm not even just talking about legit shit. I'm talking about, you know. I'm, Imagine I'm, I'm, having, money... I'm having light bulbs go off my head right now. I'm going to start a lot of business. Imagine we, we how much do that. money moves through yeah, a lot of companies. We should do that. 
Yeah. We yeah, should do we that. should we should do that. Yeah. Yeah, give me a sec, boys. I got to return his phone call. Sorry. Yeah, I, you're not wrong. It, lo, the lottery is like such yeah. an easy it uh, yeah. yes. Yeah. It, yeah. It, 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 here's the thing. The best part about it, liquid cash. Uh, yeah. mo most of the time, it can be cash on hand. You you don't even have to do transactions. You know, you know the funniest thing to me, by the way, there, there's a perfect yeah. middle ground about this oil filter shit that I guarantee yeah. you nobody thinks about. If yeah. people want to sell them legally and, and they're too lazy to do it, why not just make the use of the oil filter is illegal, yeah. right? Like, or give them use, another use. Exactly, exactly. Like, why not? Why not just do it? Okay, it's not illegal to have an oil filter because, like, but if you're using you know, it for the yeah, exactly. Because yeah, yeah you, uh, oil filters have, whatever. Exactly, but if you use it in a cr in a criminal way, yeah, like to suppress a firearm, it's illegal. There you go. I, I, it, Denzel, listen. It, it, I've, I've had several multiple of these little battles with people i mean and to be fair look end of the day all right i'm not delusional i'm kind of just like a middle guy in all of this i, I for the most part i was a communic i was like a middle dude between dean francis and like eve and nancy and whoever and you know and honestly i was doing that mainly because dean needed help yeah i mean i'm also like I'll, i mean to keep it 100 percent honest like i feel like yeah. me, you and lang a very similar mentality on shit too with like uh, with things like that too <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you know like uh, i yeah. um, we have a very similar mentality where there's people that have a different mentality and the, I, I think right there's and i think balance. when those mentalities sometimes those mentalities kind of like uh, the thing is look for example with crane mm -hmm. i for, do i think like crane is uh he's he's one of the most level-headed dudes i've ever met yeah, in terms Crane's of you know like general solid. right yeah he's he's fantastic and I think, but I think sometimes he's asked to make calls where he's just like, okay, what do I, what's the call that I think will be the best for everybody? Yeah. yeah. And then he tries to make that call. And I, uh, you know, sometimes I think it's okay to revisit a call and say, okay, maybe like in light of recent developments, we need to, uh, you know, switch it up a bit or something. Maybe, or maybe we need, now we can See, figure my, out a better way to do is, it. Is like, I, and I, once again, I'd have to go double check. Uh, if if it is illegal to own them like by mm -hmm. legislation and law fine mm -hmm. i completely understand it you know what i mean like i completely understand not selling them but i think that's stupid if that's a law i think there are like several things that are like that where it's kind of ambiguous of their legality i think that's perfectly fine because here's the thing in my opinion i think yeah i think it's just so, and if that leads to like investigation stuff good let that they let them be investigated let them try to figure out what the hell to do let them you know let, let let things kind of play out i guess sometimes i don't know i'm i'm of, I'm of that mentality denzel you know like the, the things that cause more discourse and 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 you know action i guess in a sense it, it, be, the better yeah so yeah, I don't um, mind. I don't mind having like. Uh, I, I could probably talk to Crane next time I see. I gotta talk to him anyway because I applied for a business. Mm -hmm. I kind of have a crazy business idea that Harry, that a few of us are doing. Okay. Um, we applied for the church, the building behind the church, the graveyard. You the crypt, a pastor? All, all four <laughs> of the building, all, all of the yeah. land there. We applied for. Yeah. And I really want to wipe all of the headstones in the city entirely like pull them out of the ground uh completely uh -huh. empty the graveyard and have a bunch of oh. not only open graves but like people that actually die in the city have their own headstones oh yeah i see you're doing a you're doing a grave digger uh thing huh yeah well yeah i mean also like i mean it's really look, good for you because i know i'm the guy that puts most graves. people in the graves i know it's <laughs> yeah perfect. Put the most people in graves oh my yeah. god that's g you could easily oh my god it's genius i know because you can easily get rid of people i know but like having like, shrines having like crypts more, uh, shit like that wow like i mean you're extremely rich uh, you know what i mean like let, let's give you an example you run a very successful company let's say you want to uh, let's say you want to pre-order a grave you know what i mean like you want the, the people oh, do yeah. that all the time like i would come yeah, down I, you, you pick out the grave what headstone you want you know yep. you, 
stuff like that for when you're dead black you'll marble be with gold inlays i'd want some uh, exactly. i'd want some gemstones exactly. in there as well yes a hundred percent you're like a bust of myself there so people remember how handsome i was exactly or you know there that reminds you uh there used there's this uh i was watching a documentary like a long time ago uh in mexico they do like these giant crypts for uh the dead cartel bosses they're humongous and there's like and the whole town goes over to see them and stuff like Chat, that you could do we're shit less like that than, for the, we're, we're, we're know, 344 away from 90k exactly that that's that's exactly that's my insane. thought is having okay, okay. people like huge like like for example like uh you know <laughs> like let's say you know my deputy mayor Bassum, you know hearts out to Bassum. i feel <laughs> i played know, that guy in the movie yeah, I uh, you remember that. Yeah, I do remember. Hey, that. it's me, Bassam. I remember. I, I I nailed that accent of his. I know. That he used to I have. know. Hey, and uh, you know, Maya, hearts out to Bassam. I miss Bassam. You know. Yeah, and insane. It, you yeah, know, me too. I'll go put a million dollars. Big down. ups. Hey. In honor of Bassam Shanine, a giant, a giant crypt. What? You know, a gold wow. crypt. Wait, in honor you'd be of paying Bassam. that to your. You'd be paying that to your own company. <laughs> this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh D, you never cease to amaze me. I see. Hmm. I would like to invest in this company. <laughs> I would like to invest in this business, I think. But uh, you know, okay, it's it, okay. like apparently Crane's gotta go over that one. Uh so yes. I gotta already talk to him about that company. Yeah. Uh how's your relationship with Crane? Is it you think it's like fairly pretty good? Okay. I've had a very good relationship with him since he okay. first became a judge. I think. Because, what are you gonna call it? Oh, uh, Harry and I called it "That's Life." That's life. Yeah, that's life. The funeral home. Huh. Yeah. I like. It's like short, simple. Exactly. It's to the point. That's life. Wow. Okay. Yeah. If it was just, if it was just a me thing, I would have mm. called it "Memento Mori." I mean, you know. <sighs> Denzel, I've seen you. Twat that out so many times. Yeah, but yeah. But what else could it be people, called? What else you know? could it be called? Oh, really? Is that what it is? Yep. Oh, I, I, it's like I, a calling card, huh? I, I, I would try. I would try to get Memento Mori on the gate, though. Like you know, even if it's called That's yeah. Life, the funeral home, yeah. the graveyard, I'd one hundred percent have a Memento Mori like thing over it. Because death is inevitable. Listen, when you when 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 you get that business up and running, you give me a call as well, and we can talk about products and stuff as well for that business. Too. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, I, you know, I I know, but getting into that, uh, one prayer of the things, beads, flowers, one smoking uh, gun. You know. Once yeah, mm -hmm. one smoking guns up and running. I want to yeah. sell incense, not a smoking gun. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've done we've done a bit of that in the past. Or like uh, that's weird, and and the other you know other people. Yeah, I think Blackcraft as well. Yeah, okay. I like that. Yeah. So you can even have them. You can even have like, let's say you could do factory products. Uh, I, depending on how you want to, what you want to do. Cause you probably want to do like, you want to tailor them around like the smoke stuff, right? Or the, the incense. But let's say you do, you could do factory products where the, the incense starts off just like regular and then the person can use it and light it. Oh, that's sick. Do you guys and sell lighters lit. yet? No. I, you know I that know. was the one thing I wanted with smoking guns. I, I remember. I yeah. remember. I wish. I have a list of things that I wish we could do, like to kind of just it's like a factory. That you can't do a, a factory, lighter, to be honest. Like a factory 2.0 type thing, you know, like, uh, like yeah, the the next. But uh, eh, you know, yeah, maybe, maybe I see what I can do. Well, that, you know, a lighter like, a lighter should definitely be a thing here. Yeah, I mean, like, um, I've had the in my to do to do like a uh, review all the products because there's yeah. a lot of products right now that are in the city that don't do anything like they just don't have a use they're just even if you go to like the mega mall or something right there's products in there they don't do anything like when's the last time you saw somebody do something with the drill yeah not wrong right what if we could actually repurpose those same products to have uses again in the city maybe like i don't know maybe the drills are used in like um uh civilian jobs for example but also maybe they have another extracurricular activity use at the same time and then you know those could be uh enabled for shops again or something to to work with there's i mean there's a hardware and tools uh specialization that people you know they could, they could probably go there or something i don't know 
things that i uh, you know me so i try to work with like what's already available yeah usually and i'll try to find like uh you know like easier things to do that don't necessarily require like months and months of you know labor yeah. to to accomplish so yeah anyway right. um okay so yeah i mean i guess to sum up the, the conversation so we're if having lang about the filters, approved the oil filters you would you would do it yes because he would be acting on behalf of the state right i mean here's the thing i'm preparing myself to already like take direction from Aegis probably whenever like that all right going. I'll, I'll speak to crane i might just ask crane if it was a senate decision or not and then okay. if it wasn't like federal government that decided that then i'll see if lang will just approve it <laughs> yeah i mean uh the, again the reason why i even asked like crane and the doj was because um they are it, they're going to be the part they enforce it right like they're going to be enforcing the laws and stuff and honestly i also wanted to begin dialogues with crane anyways because of the storefront legislation stuff and and, and yeah. the, you know i wanted help back then with enforcing this stuff all right let me uh i'm gonna so, let me call somebody real quick yeah Let's see if he's still around Hey. Hey. Yeah, I'm coming. Sorry, I was finishing up a conversation. Uh, what's it called? I'm going to have a conversation with Crane, because Crane's the one who said no to oil filters, but they're not illegal right now. So if I turn his opinion, we'll be able to do it. You're going to talk to Crane? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to have a conversation with Crane about it. You know how long that's going to take? Uh, uh, probably not long. Probably, not long. probably in the next 48 hours. Okay. Sounds All right. good. He's calling somebody. All right. Sounds good. All right, I'm, I'll be hanging out with uh, Alex at the Guild Hall if you need me there. All right, sounds good. Talk to you later. Yeah. Right. He, I guess he's going to talk to Crane Lang about uh, that stuff. And then if you guys find yeah, out, I got to already talk to, to Crane because uh, Crane is the one reviewing the funeral home stuff. Lang. Hold on, what's that, guys? I'm just saying, I'll just hit it out. Oh. Oh. Chat, I, I don't know why you guys meme Senate shit so much. You know, the last thing that was brought to me as a senator was in February. Oh, yeah, he won again, like, right? Barely shit comes across my desk as a senator. Or February or March or some shit. Say that again? Oh, wait, you squaring up? Oh. Yeah, what if I was? Squaring up? Huh? I'm gonna need to buy one of those oil filters. Just things don't get brought up to the Senate often, chat. That's all. I, I don't know why you, you guys think the Senate needs to approve, like, everything in the city. Like, shit rarely gets brought up. I, I think it, the last thing that got brought up to me was Aegis. Is that you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, just hit me up uh, as soon as you get that business and then going. I'm sure we like can work on, on uh, lots of products and stuff for you. Yeah, hell yeah! I plan on coming. I I plan on contacting as soon as smoking guns done decorating. Getting decorated. Uh, what were you asking? Oh, I I was saying that I uh, I'm gonna speak to Crane about the oil filter shit, and mm -hmm. because I gotta speak to him about the funeral home shit anyway. So. Another phone call. Sorry guys, I'm just being bombarded right now. Wow, it's a busy man over here. Hello. That's yeah, being the mayor. Yeah. People asking him when for stuff. Did you, do you miss it, D? Never. I've never <laughs> missed it in my life. You never miss it. You sure, man? You could run again, you know? Uh, I would burn this city to the fucking ground if I ever ran. Hey, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. You remember that? We talked about that. I really want to fucking. I really want to call that Emerson motherfucker. I was talking shit that one day, so badly. <laughs> uh, anyways, guys, I gotta head out. Yeah, uh, yeah. Turbo, it's been a pleasure. I'm gonna look into this fucking filter shit. I I'm curious yeah. about the rest of this list too, honestly. Okay. Um, I can I can probably dig it up and uh. Yeah, think of the list and send it to me if you can. Yeah. I want sure. to take a look at it. Okay. We heading somewhere, Lang? Or you gotta go to a meeting? Yeah, you got a card out. Uh, yeah, it's out yeah, back. It's parked in the yeah, back. Yeah. Let's go. Is it the Emperor? I want to All drive right, that boys. around. Yep. Have a good one.
Hey, Have you too, Turbo. Take Turbo care. Turbo, it was good catching up. Oh, we need to, you, you know, the, the the lottery stuff is fucking genius, though. So. Yeah, no, I forgot about that. That could actually work really well. Uh, it's okay. I'm not, some, like, cool, I'm not talking like, about lot lottery like, games, like, man, honestly. Like a LEDs, I, I know you don't mean it in any type of way. I just think people think, people always bring it up, bro. And I, I just, you know. Yeah, I think... I mean, honestly, it, it was Pablo the only one doing any lotto shit in this fucking city. I'm gonna grab the car. Oh, this guy's fucking standing still. What was that? Uh, he was the only one that has actually ever tried yet. Can we speak by the lucky pucker? Uh, the, uh, Larry wants to introduce me to some people or some shit. All right, let's go. Yeah, I don't know why anyone's ever really tried. I mean, it's a really good business. It could become a really good business. A lot of people just don't have... I don't even want to get... <laughs> just start a lottery company. That'd be fucking amazing, honestly. Yeah, that's, I, I say we fucking do it. Why not? I mean, hell, even Turbo was interested. I fucking love Turbo. He's one of my favorite people. Yeah, Turbo's a really good guy. I forgot that tomorrow, uh, Denzel, is going to be the most cooked day in the city this year. Just get ready for it. Why? Oh. It's 420. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I could participate. I'd get so fucking unbelievably high. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be cooked as fuck. Hello? What's up, Trouble? Yeah, we're, we're literally, me and Denzel were literally just talking about it in the car. If you want an in on it, we should do something. I think it'll be really good. I think Marlo would probably be down for that. <laughs> Speedy is going to be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so excited to see Speedy. Mm. Yeah. Um. Let's. Let's have a meeting. Let's have a meeting for now. Maybe maybe we bring in like two or three other people and create like a board. You know, like you know how like the casinos do it? How they're all like, you know, it's almost like a cartel for the fucking casinos. <laughs> we should do something like that. Yes, yes, we should cook this. We should cook this up, Turbo. I think it can actually get cooked real well. We should have uh, Leslie well, with low shit like that. Give me a list of who wants to be involved in this, because I, I got to filter through this. You know what I mean? It's got to be motherfuckers with no business. You know what I mean? Ooh. Where do we go from there? All right. Take care, Turbo. Bye-bye. I, I can see Leslie loving shit. Mm, they don't like it when you hey, say hey, it like hey, that. Hey, listen. Mm. Shape up, shape up, shape up, shape up. Everybody shape up. What's going on, L? Larry, what the fuck are you wearing? What? This my... You, you fuck with it, right? You just got off, of, you just got off a plane from District 10 or what? Mm. <laughs> oh, be dripping. He be dripping. Ah. You about to get uh, dumb cut to hell, my man. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Larry, Larry, we're, gonna say, Larry, we're gonna say about that. We're gonna, we're gonna say about that. It looks good. I'm just saying. You're gonna mm. wake up one day and it's all gonna be like replaced. No, it's that, not, bro. It is. It That's is. That's a Santa yeah, it is. Yeah, No, yeah, Brandon. No, 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 LV, bro. bro. These, I trust me. They're okay, bro. They're okay, bro. They are okay. okay. Wait till you see starts in the Blinciagi go in the closet. <laughs> None of this shit is branded. None. I promise you it's not. Oh, wait. It's actually not branded. Yeah, it's Santa. Okay, okay, that's clean. Mm. That's clean. Mm. That does it, look branded, but it's actually not. Even the kicks are not branded. Oh my god. On the side. I promise you, they're not. Uh, Wait, that's what the head is on the back. No, that, the whole that's the logo on the back. On the back. That's back? the logo on the back. Huh? <laughs> nah, it says, no, it's it's just no, red. No, it says no, red. No, it says no, red, no, red no, right there. It's just it's red. red. Well, I, yeah. well, I like it. It's clean. It's clean. It looks good. I like the hat. I put a little paint on it. I appreciate you. You know, it look chilly out. But yeah, yeah, I want yeah, you yeah. to I want you to meet my homies, bro. They come from uh they flew in from uh the YBN district, you know what I'm saying? This is uh right here is uh Fredo Tuton right here. 
And there's mm. my boy, uh, 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 Lil Sal, aka TJ. What's going on, bro? It's 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 a, it's a it's an honor to meet you. I heard, you know what I'm saying? Some shit about you, bro. You feel me? Goddamn. Appreciate you, you know what I'm saying? Coming through the motherfucker, goddamn, showing some little tight shit, bro. Fuck with you. Yeah, homies. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, I've heard, I've been hearing a lot, a lot, a lot of things about you in the streets, and you know, here and there and whatnot. You feel me? I, mm. you know, I, heard, I heard the maid was a real ass nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I, I heard, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what you guys mm. hear? What you guys hear? I'm curious. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, uh, I heard this man, this man right here. You know what I'm saying? He paving the way for, for, for you know, for his brothers here in, in, in the street. You feel me? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I heard, you know, I heard he, 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 the, he the sole reason. Shopping opened up right here. Man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Talk to him. Talk to him, TJ. Talk to him, TJ. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I feel it. I feel it. Hell yeah. But like, wait, 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 it's so sad. I know TJ. I'm my fault. Oh, the, 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 the real shit, though, like, motherfuckers did not feel comfortable, you know, being they sales type shit. And, like, we just want to say, appreciate that shit for, you know what I'm saying? Let niggas be niggas, because. Like, niggas was scared as fuck, you know, to wake up and, you know, like, be who the fuck we is, you know? Like, we come from mm. Atlanta, New York, and all that shit, so mm. we got a different way we talk. So, you know, and niggas look at us kind of weird when we say certain I, shit. I hope so Lucky Plucker is running. Like, I hope yeah, Lucky Plucker like, is running like he's running 2.0. You know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to dick ride nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we fucks with the mayor. I ain't gonna lie. We, we fucks oh, with God, the mayor. Mm. Yeah, we fucks with the mayor. It would be so sick to see this place running. Yeah, bro. We like dead ass appreciate that. Even though you ain't got no socks on, bro, we still fuck with you, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like we 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 appreciate it because like it's hard to this motherfucker, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas, niggas ain't got money to eat right this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we we did that come from the motherfucking struggle around this bitch. Like we like mama ain't got damn. You know what I'm saying? I had to raise my little brother on my motherfucking whole life. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. shit, bro, like, we, we had the motherfucker get out that motherfucker out the motherfucking mud, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like real struggle yeah, yeah, yeah. shit, like real pain shit. Like, daddy wasn't around, mama doing drugs type shit. Motherfucker dropped out of high school and shit, having noodles and shit to eat. See my I love how in, in all the appreciating like, of Lang, they roasted him like, bro, for not having really socks. That motherfucking struggle, bro. Like, real talk yeah, on my mom. I feel mother. that. I feel Man, that. Make homies, sure you just bro. keep fighting that good fight. You know what I mean? Hey, bro, we gonna keep motherfucking <laughs> fighting this shit, bro. Fuck the goddamn system, And then, like, all the, the we appreciate system. you. You right about that. Fuck the goddamn They roast him for not having socks. We gonna make it out. We trying to become rappers, bro. We gonna oh, blow that hospital up. Hey, you, you, gotta go join, uh, you gotta join the LNE. Y'all join the LNE yet? Uh, I think it's Larry. It's, it's, it, it, it's, it's crazy Larry. that you said that. Hey, go ahead and play that motherfucker. Let me get the. Let me get the. Uh, oh, yeah, this, this shit goes stupid, okay, okay. Mr. Mayor. You, you, okay, you, okay. You this like shit for like Russia. Like the little brother shit, brother. My little brother shit. Hey, bro, mm. look at your oh, ass. What up the hell, cat? Mm. Look at your shit, twin. That motherfucker, how we coming out here in there, That stereo be knocking, so. Yeah, that shit there do be knocking. That's why I got his ass in the car. That motherfucker loud as hell. Loud as a motherfucker. Give me a picture of this. The mayor showing love to the uh, gangbangers, you know? What's what someone taking for this? Hey, man, by the way, I miss you, buddy. I miss you, too, How you doing, nephew? Motherfucker need to know, bro. Get my text. I did not get your reply. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Hey, Fredo, what mayor you know gonna come down here and kick it in the slums? What mayor you know that? Ain't no mayor I know. 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 You like it? That's what yeah, I like it, sure. Thanks. I no security shit. by himself. Don't Thanks, man. We got walking dolo, bro. bro. I appreciate that shit. Uh -huh. I actually really like this shit. That means a lot, man. Oh shit, I forgot. Mickey did, but Mickey was more like. I'm, Mickey was Mickey's crazy. Mickey's an idiot. Yeah, that, 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 <laughs> was a, that was a different species. Uh, I heard that. I heard the the FL. <laughs> I heard the what? Do -do -do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the FL open up. <laughs> 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 Bro, you ain't exporting yet? Goddamn. Wait, I can't Bro, hear shit. Did he do something? I can't hear. No, no, no. He, he opened up F F oh, Studio God, on God. his laptop there. Oh, there you go. You gotta get a oh, hell yeah. Hey, twin, make sure you show. Yeah, make sure you yell it. Bang. Man, get off my phone. I just knocked up and just opened it and fed him an edible. I got a hair from my grandma and it was incredible. It I just got my grandpa and he turned to a vegetable. Slept my little brother for eating fruity pebbles. I just caught my little cousin smoking crack in the basement. I scammed a nigga named King J. Boy, it's life saving. My mom just called my name and I told her, leave me alone. I just what? called my dad and he didn't pick up the phone. I went outside and shot a nigga in the school, dub, I forgot it. Just served a nigga some fake perks. He died from an overdose. Robbed a nigga in the alley and they run into the cage. So you gave me two kids. This nigga was sister because she asked me for a dog. For my baby brother because he knows ABC. Just like the top of the new kids that you have. Just to my mom, she can't hold, she can't get these. Get him up, let's get him up. Let me 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 get him up. Let me
Uh, damn. <laughs> that shit goes stupid. That was hard. That was hard. I like that. Oh, the phone ringing. Go answer that. Oh, oh, oh. Ain't got, no, ain't got nothing some, on Philly Elmo. Right there, bro. He, he, he really be rapping, bro. He really be doing that shit, bro. Mm. Definitely LNE material if I've ever heard in my life. That is absolutely LNE material. Absolutely. Bro, we need Tyreek here ASAP. Yeah, Tyreek. Where the fuck Tyreek at? I have no idea. Usually a week, but he's not. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, we doing our thing here in the streets. You feel me? No. I respect real, that. Real, you, real, you real, real fun That's got to join Larry's fucking label, you know? Get the fucking pop and start putting this music everywhere. You know what I mean? Man, we, we down. We, we was I'm told, down to join. Well, yeah. I was personally told that I couldn't say certain shit on the radio, so that's why I kind of stopped. Uh, You know, I didn't really pursue the music because I, I couldn't really be myself. You get what I'm saying? I was told by, you know, some people like, I can't say certain shit, so like, that kind of just came to a fucking end. So yeah. Okay, okay. So uh, I don't know, but Larry, but Larry told me I could, you know, I could be my fucking self. So nigga, I gonna say what the fuck I want. Mm. Yeah, I mean, be your fucking self. Never be scared of that. Mm. Ever. Mm. Yeah. Fuck, they gonna express do? yourself. Yeah, what, what are they gonna, gonna do? do? What are they gonna do to you? Shit. Nothing. Not exactly. Goddamn, well, yeah. Mm. What, what I already told you. What, I already told you. Uh, it, it says more about them than it says about anybody else in this exactly, fucking city, bro. You right, bro. You right, bro. Let a motherfucker tell me you can't say that. Let a nigga try me, try me. Hey, Larry, let me talk to you real quick. Huh? With all oh, that, oh, bro. Shit, I'm in I told you that boy. <laughs> shot. He said I'm in trouble. <laughs> Yo, what's all going right. on, Denzel? Yo, what up? How you doing, man? You chilling? Hey, can I be yeah, I've been just chilling. I I to be fair, I used to be the mayor. You used to be mayor? mayor? I used to be the mayor. Yeah. Damn. That's right. Uh, I was the first honest, male mayor man. in Los Santos. Honest man. The first Damn. man that was a mayor. Oh, shit. Damn. If you, if you, well, that's history you went right lame, there, you probably ran that's that shit right. I just appreciate y'all coming down here to this motherfucking south side, bro. Well, we cause bro, I feel like we don't get no love down this bitch. Yeah, I mean, that's how I feel. This all, that's all the love we see right there. Them lame man twelve, four twelve. Uh, hell, I remember. I remember when I was running for mayor. I came down to the south side. I think I was the only mayor to get the Vagos, the Ballas, and the families all to vote for me. Damn, history. history. Yep, history, he got it like bro. that. Yeah, he's the first one. Also, the first man on the moon. That, that's what? not true. I was not the first man. Thank you, nephew. Oh, you were the first man on the. Wow. <laughs> I don't. I don't oh. think I was the. I don't. Well, I, I think Bjorn's gonna be the first man on the moon. How are you mm. gonna fit Bjorn on a rocket? That's hey, you, hey, you, hey, you watch your mouth when you speak about Bjorn. He's like, been working I, out. You, I, you don't see I, Bjorn working. I see, I see him. I see him. I see he, he's getting in shape now. <laughs> yeah, Bjorn told me if the moon's cheese, he's eating it all. As mm. he should. <laughs> who the gotta, fuck? Who the? Y'all know these people? Y'all know these people? Hell no, nah, bro. I don't know who that is. Oh, go speak to them, Bubble. Go, go chat to them, Bubbles. Oh, this is easy. We good, we good, we good. Mm. Oh, right, right. You got you to gotta stay 10 toes around here because motherfuckers do be spinning. Anybody that move wrong, bro, on my mama life, bro, I'm on that. People do be I've spinning. I've been on 10 since yesterday, bro. I ain't going to never stop being on 10, too. Dead on me. What's up, Aziz? Hey, what's up, guys? How we doing? What's up, Zakid? Zakid? Hello, Habibi. How you doing, mom? I was what gonna the... call you today. I didn't know you were away. Yeah, yeah, I'm in the way. Yeah, well, let me touch you. Yeah, come, come, come. Me? Oh, yeah, yeah. I hope we ain't in trouble, bro. They over there talking for a long time, bro. Nah, you ain't in trouble. Uh... All right. If you was in trouble here, he'll, he'll yell at you, bro. Trouble. Bro, if we if we can say what we want to say around the mayor, bro. I ain't, bro. I feel so comfortable, bro. Bro, he told you, be you, bro. bro be yourself. I feel... Man, bro, you don't understand, bro. That shit means so much, bro. Man, I'm so cool. I'ma stand on that shit too. Uh, what you said, nigga? I said, what fuck is you talking about, bro? What, bro? Yeah. Dead homie. Got a problem with it, bro? <laughs> Damn <Damn> lawyer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't got one, but bro, yeah, bro. What fuck is you talking about, bro? I gotta make Ready, that song, but... bro. Bro, I need to get a lawyer. Mmm, I'm thinking about becoming a legal aid and becoming <laughs> the city's worst lawyer. Oh, I'm a, I'm a legal aid already. They call me down to the cities every day. Bro, you know what I want to do? I want I want to start a. Uh, Y'all ever seen the TV show courtrooms? 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, like, we need uh, to start one of them. A judge, judge, judge. Yeah, yeah, like a judge, yeah. Judy. Yeah. Or Mathis. <laughs> Mathis. Yo, Mathis is goes crazy. <laughs> that shit goes stupid. Wow, we can't man. handle though, like criminal cases. The only like lawsuits and shit, like civil. Yeah, yeah, I, would, I would just want to be the worst. Imagine just walking in there and getting them extra charges. That That's shit would be do. funny to do for civil cases, to be honest. It would be good might, too because the judges, to the uh, bro, the judges are always busy too. They never take civil cases that are thrown to the side usually. Mm. So hey, former mayor. Actually, yeah, that's good. Who, who would we talk to about that? Is that a merit thing or like a judge thing? Like how, how the fuck I think that would like be that like, work? I mean, obviously the more people you got on board for it, right? But I, you'd have to speak to DOJ department, like the entirety of the DOJ. department adjustments. So like Crane would crane. be a good. Crane, crane. Lang behind me Light would be good. Crane. Brother Crane. Oh yeah, Brother Crane. Fuck. Mm -hmm. you, you on board X Mayor? I think it would be fucking sick to be honest. Because right. even even be just hilarious. lawyers, like if you talk to lawyers, like nine out of ten lawyers don't even want to handle civil civil suits and shit like that. So, I think I think it'd be pretty funny. But that shit would be so funny, especially especially that... for like some real dumb shit. Especially if it's for some real dumb shit that there's a civil case about. Yeah, send bro, them like... into like it's a, <laughs> a Judge Judy style case. <laughs> hey, like like somebody forgot your pickles, you know what I'm saying? At, at Burger <laughs> Shot, you go you go sue Burger mm. Shot. Yeah. I want damages. You said no cheese because you're lactose, but they put cheese on it. Oh, mm. no, oh no, God, no, no. Mm. I went to, I went to uh uh said about two months ago, right? I went to Burger Shot, ordered like five five niggas, right? In the driveway, guess what? They ain't giving no sauce. I can I, I mean I can sue them about that, can I? Give me hey, that's a civil case. We give shit to run it in the court. Ask for turkey bacon one time. They put bacon. I can sue the mm. shit out of you. <laughs> put it in the court. Bruh. You so scratch somebody's car. I'm fucking wrangler for locking me up for 80 months for jaywalking. <laughs> hey, that's civil. You could do that. I'm yeah. on his fucking head, bro. Like what, bro? I need that, bro. Oh, I'm not going to lie, bro. J jaywalking ticket is like kind of hard as shit. It's like rare, you know? I'm saying, but he locked me up for 80 months for J 80? No, for that's just crazy. They, jaywalking? They, they, uh, that's they, like a 1490 gold they, they, item, you know? It's like really rare, like jaywalking. Bro, I'm not going to lie, I did some dumb shit one time. I, I, got, I got out of jail, walked out like dumb as hell, hot as hell. I broke into a car. Wrangler was out there waiting for me. Put me back in for parole. He the one that put me in jail. But I was being dumb. I shouldn't have been stealing cars like outside of prison, but like, bro. That was the craziest shit he's ever did to me. That nigga paid it, bro. He bro, locked me up, me. waited outside for me to you, get out, you wanna, and caught me again. You want to know a fun fact about Wrangler? I, uh... He a bitch. He is a bitch. Before I became the mayor, he took photos of me uh, shooting a man in the head outside a burger shot and walking away from the body. Because I ain't going to run away from a body after I shot a man. I'm going to just casually walk away. Mm. And... <laughs> He took a photo of me walking away from the corpse, and uh, they lost the case. And so I took that photo, and I put vote for Denzel for mayor. Mm. And I, that, I I had that be my campaign poster. That is the most I, I won? shit I have ever heard. Uh, yeah, and then I became life. the mayor. And then he won. Oh, no, when when were you mayor? Because uh, I, 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 I come around only a year ago. I was, the, uh, before, I was yeah. the second mayor of Los Santos. First male Holy mayor. Shit, Boy wow. beat the case and then did the race. Oh, that God. is crazy. Mm. I wish JK could have said the same thing. I hey, that, that's them boys looking for y'all. He gonna come out the he gonna come out the prison ninety five years old, I man. I feel so bad for him. Kind of steady. <laughs> it just show it just show eyes, bro. Just... No, that shit weird. It, it ain't gonna lie, dude. They be gliding. They landing, yeah. They, that's them boys looking for y'all. Trust. Hey, them boys can have that shit. I'm straight. I'm not waking, but I'm not going over there to my OG. Yeah. My OG and you got and you going. guys GSF. Yeah, we GSF. <laughs> Hangies, hangies, hangies. They, they get, they get slatted on right now, were you? Ain't no GSF outside right now, though. Ain't no, ain't no GSF awake right now. It's just us. Oh, really? Yeah, I'd be damned if I got them go over that motherfucker in here. Great. How much do you reckon you worth? Like, in terms of, like, money-wise? Me? What do mm. you mean by that as a kid? Well, I'm just saying, I'm always uh, looking for an opportunity to make a quick buck. You, you want to rat them up? You want to rat them out as a kid? I mean, I wouldn't be opposed if uh, the money was right. 
Wow, shoot, That's everybody and their bro. motherfucking mama over there. Hey, he aired this bitch out, bro. Hey, I, 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 I clean, bro. I will fur. Hey, 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 I, don't I don't know no who problem, it is, bro. but if a motherfucker got a problem with me, bitch, you better, boy. You Say that day. Say that day. Bro, I don't care who it is, bro. Come step, bro. Watch out. Mmm. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Hey, if you all that shit, shit I beat the fuck out your ass. If you my fuck out your ass, I'll talk about you. I do mercenary work, man. You can pay me. I'll do whatever the fuck you want. Mm. What you do? Yeah, I joined the seaside war for Browning and a repair a day is a free repair. Bro, what? <laughs> what? Oh, <man. laughs> a Browning and you a free repair? Crash I don't give a like fuck. That. <laughs> you are a crash dummy, Aziz. That's the, that's the benefit of being a free man, kid. I report to no one. Mm. <laughs> I ain't fought a war since I've been a was a while ago, bro. I don't do that shit no more. I'm retired. I did my last war today. I ain't Hold fought on, a one war and since done. I was in the south side. Yep, I'm done with wars. This is my last one. Retired now. Hey, bro, it just it, it, these Not wars, the bro. They say it ain't it, bro. This endless murder, bro. It ain't it. Much blood on the streets. I like like complicated killing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're a freak. Wars always come down to ego oh, and yeah. pride. That's what it always mm. comes down to. I'm trying to no kill a nigga no and then marry his wife. Uh, damn. <laughs> damn, that's, com that's complicated murder. <laughs> <laughs> that's conflicted, bitch. The hell? Well, what were you gonna, always moving with, right? Fucking I'm going to kill him and hey, raise baby. his kids like they're my own. <laughs> I am not the peppy. <laughs> I'm the father who stepped up, bitch. What is they talk? They over there talk. They having a oh, chat. Damn, but them boy, them boy debating over that motherfucker. I'm be honest, y'all might be dead. He might not fuck with y'all. Like I'm just being real with y'all. Like, damn. I'm just playing though. I'm just playing. Like he fuck with y'all. I'm putting out crowbar. You already been dead. <laughs> True, that I feel it. He'd have like snapped his fingers and a sniper would have took y'all. Trust me. I, I can feel that. I feel that. I mean, I've been watching. I've been watching every rooftop building since he done pulled up. I'm looking over every horizon. Listen, you don't need a sniper rifle when double barrel Daryl stood next to me. You know what I mean? Like we don't, don't worry about no sniper rifle. He'll, he'll that's blow a you hard in there. That's, that's, that's hard. hard. Call him on you don't know about double barrel Daryl. You don't know about him. <laughs> uh, you guys got crazy. lots of like, new young bucks in the south side. You guys need to show some some respect. Double barrel Daryl. Bro, what are you waffling about right now? <laughs> what oh, tr 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 me, tr me. I know. I know the legends. Why Dean on Twitter looking ugly as shit, man? What the fuck is that? I told him he ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! Hey, this shit looks awful, Dean. His <laughs> neck, oh, bro, his why neck, his shoulder. Like why his left shoulder longer than his right? <laughs> what the bro fuck? Got the, bro got the Batista tattoos. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro really said he the rock, bro. Pulled up with a rock tattoo <laughs> on his fucking arm. Um... It's good talking to everybody. You too. See you. All right. Nice to meet you, former mayor. Hey, it was a pleasure, guys. You guys, okay? Have a good day, okay? Hey, Zaki. We talk soon, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm trying to retire. Also, if you also if you really get killed, you're gonna get murdered. He wants. He's your brother. He's gonna fucking kill you. Listen, I've I've had an idea. I traded my spot. Julian's in the gang now. Hey, he you know, never, right? he yeah. never, never know. Can't kill what you can't see. Yeah, Zakeem, yeah. <laughs> I fucking am the dumb speaker. as fuck. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot, Zakeem. Yeah, hey, I'm boys, it was a pleasure. You guys have a good day, hey. all right? Have a good one, boys. Stay, stay, stay safe. The kid is gonna get killed. Yeah, no, he's 100% getting killed. I admire that he wants to. <laughs> I, I feel bad, honestly. This is Harry's fault. Like, it, it straight up is Harry's fault. <laughs> yeah. Joined a gang because Harry didn't was wasn't in his life. Harry neglected his fucking son. He joined a gang. This is <laughs> and Harry's now fault, that I'm Harry's giving him love, he wants out of the gang. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's gonna get, we listen, listen. I love the key, okay. And I gotta tell Harry this too. But we do not get involved in that. Yeah, I know we can't. Like we, we, he I mean, signed up for that shit. We already you know said I mean? that shit. We can't get involved in it. We can't. We have no place in that. We're not the ones who made him sign up for that kind of shit. You know what I mean? Uh, I gotta meet with uh, I gotta meet with one of my people. Get oxy and materials. I'm imagine you don't want to be there. I don't give a, I don't give a fuck anymore. I'll swing by. Let's go. All right. Let me see where she's gonna be. Shh. 
You're okay. Hey. Right. Hello. I had a lot of shit come up. What's uh what's your number? Five one eight. Five one eight? Yeah. Alright, I'll ping you. Okay. Alright, bye. Probably. The thing is too, like, uh, it's the more I think about the key, like, even if he did leave and shit, like, how do we trust? Him? Yeah, because you know? because yeah. he's in a hard position. Because if he doesn't leave, he's not gonna get what he wants. But then if he does leave, you know, listen, I've adapted a lot to the city, but you know, I see, I, 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 I mental note every flip flopper. You know what I mean? Yeah, I have mental notes of every flip flip flopper in the city. Well, also, I was, uh... One second, one second. Hey, what's up, Alex? What's up? Just saying hi. Just seeing what's going on. Hey, bring, bring, the, uh, bring the oxy and the yeah. materials. Yeah, okay. All right, perfect. Right. What's the number, chat? What was your fucking number? 618? Is that what it was? 508? 518? 518. It was 518. It was 518. I couldn't remember a six or five. Um, and but you would be the skies though, yeah. That was five one eight. Let's see the six one eight or yeah, five one eight. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Both. It's less risk because he knows, and we just hope that he doesn't try to fuck us over. I like that idea a lot, actually. But we would just just Alex, just put the same angle though. You know what I mean? Like stay disguised and, and do the same shit you would do to anybody else. You know. Alright, perfect. Yeah, I think it is. You guys keep up the great work, okay? Alright, hell yeah. Bye bye. I, I love Alex Dewey and Johnny. They're doing some fucking great work right now. Where, where are we going? Uh, any location? Well, I'm just gonna ping her. We could go to the. Let's go to the. Behind the uh, casino? You know, like the little. Yeah, let's go to the stables. I love that yeah, place. Stables are fantastic. So, what did Turbo give you an idea for the lottery, by the way? Uh, apparently, like some other people are interested in doing it, and uh, we can start a gaming commission. Honestly, yeah, uh, nobody's ever tried doing that in the city. I don't know why, but it could be interesting. Yeah. But with that being said, I can't imagine the people that have these ideas are very busy-minded yeah. people. You know what I mean? Yeah, not wrong at all. Uh, so I told them to give me a list. Hey, uh, boss, are you uh, just, you busy uh, right now? I mean, we'll see where it goes. Uh, I'm about to go to a meeting. What's up, Lieber? Uh There's someone I want you to use you to. Uh, okay. Maybe someone uh, future. Future worker, you know, or future uh, yeah, co-worker. Uh, yeah, I'd love to uh, love to meet him. Um, uh, where are you at? Let me finish this meeting, and then I'll call you, okay? Okay. You know how long that'll take. Uh, I'm just grabbing stuff off this person, so probably like five minutes. Five minutes? Okay. I'll see yep. you soon. All right. Talk to you. All right. So, so by the way, Lang, if, uh, if we do bring the guild into what we're doing with the religion... There is a new guild member that I would vouch very hard for. No, 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 no. We're not starting this, Denzel. What do you mean, no? No, it's not, it's not no to that. It's no. we need to start. I need to see that the guild is committed to this. Well, that's part. what I'm saying. Right now, if, if my, my point is, if we involve the guild, as in they're actually committed, I would like to see Levi involved. Is more yeah, point. but the thing, about, the thing about that is these people are going to come in being loyal to each other versus anything else, Denzel. Levi is loyal to me. I, 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 that's why I say that. Levi's been uh, my right So if hand. you told him to go kill BR now, he'd go kill BR? I, I genuinely think he would probably kill the guild if I asked him to. Okay, so let's go meet up with him right now and make it very serious that we want him to go kill BR and see how he reacts. How about that? Uh, I was throwing it out there. We could go do this, sure. That's who I'm meeting after this because he wants to introduce me to somebody. He's just somebody that has been around me for over a year. He's been my right hand at all, like at my Chumats business. He's been my main guy for Connect stuff. He's one of my main people. Okay. He knows a lot about me. Is he it's, a part of the guild? I think they officially had him join the guild like two days uh, ago. It's like, like, okay, we just have to play it by ear because I'm not against it, but you got to understand like the guild, anybody they bring in, like they're, like, they're just going to be loyal to each other more than this, and then I feel like this will get obliterated. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. If we do end up involving the guild, he would be one of the main people I'd love to see get involved. But if we're not involved, I'll meet him. I'll meet him. Let me meet the motherfucker too and see, you know, how I feel about the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Not to say that it's only my decision about that. You just got to understand where my skepticism with the guild comes from. Oh, absolutely. I, I get it.
because I dealt the same shit with Eve, you know what I mean? And it, and it got to a point where I know Eve would pick the guild every time. Not that that matters, but when we're trying to run an operation like this, that does matter. No, you know? I get it. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know if fucking Penny's around. I gotta call her real quick. Hey, Penny, how you doing? Oh, hell yeah, they already gave you a call. Listen, I want to help them out and just have them uh, use the kitchen uh, in the mornings to make their food uh, for the little restaurant down on the south side, right? What do you think about that? They'll work on a deal, though. Make sure they pay for it and shit, you know what I mean? Uh, I just I just want to I just want to help them out and see if Larry's either gonna prove me right or prove me wrong. Let me go from there, okay? <laughs> All right. No problem. Bye bye. I'm gonna be honest. I actually think the Levi is more loyal to us than the Guild. Honest to God. Honestly, I'm trying to think of a lot of doing like a gaming board. Would it be like a new business type of thing? If we, yeah, uh, so gaming community, like uh, for for example, Vegas is literally a mafia the way they run the fucking casinos down there, right? Like it's all gotta be you know through the gaming commission. You can't just go open up a casino. There's like rules and shit. It would be cool to see something like that come to light here. I'm Marlo's calling it. What's up, Marlo? Um, Rami, I don't think it's been around yet. Mm. I ha I did look over uh, the shit you sent me yesterday, and uh, I'm talking to somebody about it. To see, uh, I I don't want to say sh I I don't want to say anything right now because it might not happen. But I I have an idea for it that I'm trying to see if it's possible. Okay. I think. Oh, I still need to pull that. Is that, is that your person? Then? Probably. I'm just going to walk the back. Give me a second. Wow. <laughs> Hello? Hello? You got the, uh, you got the shit? I'll figure yeah, out what to pay you want me to put it in the trunk? It. Yeah, put it in the trunk. I'll figure out a payment for it, uh, later. Because, uh... I used to be into the material business a long time ago, and I kind of got out of it. Oxy, I got no clue on the street value, so I'll figure out a payment later. I, yeah, I need that. I some shit I need. All right. Uh, if you could keep working on Oxy, I, I, hell, yeah. even materials. You keep bringing materials, I'll keep buying. Do you? Uh, do okay. you just find this shit? How do you get? How'd you get this shit? I do chopping when I'm a little bored. Oh, okay. Uh, did. did do you get the materials like this, or do you turn them into these? I turn them in. All right. If you turn them into turn them into aluminum, plastic, rubber in the future. I. Aluminum, plastic, rubber. The big three. So for oxy, I got a guy who he does a fucking lot of oxy. Okay. Once you know a price on what you buy that for, I'm gonna help him with some runs in a bit, but I can start getting that your way as well. All right, sweet. Yeah, I mean, more people you find like that, let me know, uh, and I'll. Uh, I'll try to, uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, the more people you find, go ahead, you know? I don't need to meet them. You could be the layer of separation, okay? Perfect. All right. Um, anything else? Do you need anything? No, just got to get some money so I can buy some fucking cuffs. All right. You got a gun? Yeah. All right. You, you need to buy cuffs? Yeah. How much do they go for? 6.5K. All right. Uh, how much do you have? Seven hundred dollars. Here, fuck it. Uh, I'm taking this batch of materials for free, and the uh, next batch of materials and oxy I'm taking for free too. There you go. I. 
No, we don't gotta pay for him. All right, I'll uh, I'll be in contact. Yeah, I gotta keep my head low for a bit, but I'll yeah, be it's fine. All right, I'll talk to you. Hey, she's leaving. I'm taking a piss. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. If I if I was supposed to give up when Fuck. life was really telling me to give up, Marlo, I would have gotten nowhere in my life. Like, I got to take a piss. <laughs> I thought you were trying to give me something. Sorry. <laughs> Dude, that shit. Motherfucker, I come up to him doing the, the emote with my dick in my hand, and the guy thinks I'm trying to give him something. All right, where we're going next? Uh, meet with Levi. 16 oxy in the trunk for you, by the way, for a better life. And we're going to need hundreds, by the way. I know, I know. She, I, so, so, I know. Listen, I, know. I, want you, I want you to go throw that shit in the, uh, in the stash at the club, all right? I don't have access. All right, just throw it into the stash by the house in Gentry. Okay. Uh... If, uh, yeah, I can do that. She has somebody? Wait, 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 wait. Sorry to interrupt you. Does this shit weigh anything? I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's okay. She has what? Uh, she already has somebody she knows that runs a ton of Oxy and is going to try to work on getting that as well. How much? Who, who, who is this? Cuddles? No, this is not Cuddles. This is somebody that works for me. What's her name? Uh, Marina is her name. I don't think she's ever been to prison. She's Marina Hart? Get... Marina Hart, yeah. Second Shining. degree speeding? That, that's a speeding ticket. That ain't prison. Well, I don't know. She got no rap sheet. But, uh, yeah, she's trying to get a weapons license, I think, too. Oh, yeah. We thinking about bringing her into the church and shit? Uh, yeah. I mean, any of my people that I, I think are doing good work, I'll, I'm, I'm be willing to bring into, like, the church and the funeral. Yes. I'm I fucking love to, that we're doing get, this. Get, get, this no shit, get, get this shit line? Get this. This gets even better. You know my old, old cigarette and cigar shop? Yeah. With Andy and I divorced, I got, like, the majority of the businesses. I'm going to open up Smoking Gun and sell incest at a Smoking Gun for us to use for the sermons. Oh, yeah. As, like, yeah. another way to, like, launder money, like, purchasing a bunch of incense, wine through Hero Wine, flowers through the flower shop, shit like that. Where are you meeting, Levi? Uh, I gotta call him. I don't know where he wants to meet. All right, give him a call. He's introducing me to somebody that he likes, so I, I want to see what he's talking about. All right. To the good old uh, observatory. Yeah, let's do it. Call him. You okay, Lando? You want to meet? You hey. want to meet? You want to bring your guy and meet me at the observatory? Yeah, I'll be there. All right, see you there. All right, see you soon. <laughs> you know, we could we could what? even. I, I was trying to think about it. Like even like communion, we could go. We could get through roosters. <laughs> like just. Sorry, creating... I just. Uh, I was. I was looking at uh, John Miranda just got upgraded to questionable. Fuck yeah! I hope we play tonight. What'd you say? I, I even said like just like uh, you know even like Rooster's Rest making us like communion and paying Roosters for that. 
Oh, that'd be lit. She's in crackers, right? Well, that's Why? what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, we literally so many things we could run through this church and have large cash deposits through this church account. That then, you know what I mean? Have yeah, actual we can, transactions. We're gonna blow this up. It's gonna be fucking great. Yeah. And see, this is this is what I, I told Harry. This is what I really wanted to do is get into money laundering shit because I fucking hate people that just go to the casino and deposit chips. It's just it's lazy. Yeah, it's and, the, the, the laziest, dumbest shit on the planet. And uh, I, was, I was surprised Harry was making them do that. I was very surprised. Like, yeah, I, I think set up he was an entire wine company to clean money, and this motherfucker's like, you just go throw the chips. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. <laughs> I don't. I, I mean, I don't blame him to be honest, but uh, I, I don't blame him either. Like, I'm not gonna blame the guy. It's the way the city works, but yeah, I'm trying to run some serious shit, you know. Yeah, I mean, hell, even you know, Andy and I's wedding, we cleaned money in. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah, like I, I, I love cleaning money. It's one of my favorite things. I'm so excited for this shit. You have no idea. Like, I just want an army of fucking minions fucking running like we're Cerberus. But just also, I found the robes, the by the way. Oh, hell yeah. So, we, we there's the robes without the rooster on the back, and there's robes with the rooster on the back. Well, I already have a robe, so, you know. Yeah, and if we come up with a logo for this church, we could probably get the logo on the back of those robes, too. Hell yeah. So. Because I saw that there's a new version of that robe with an HOA logo on the back. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Yo, Turbo. D, something to clarify with you. Um, mm -hmm. These uh, filters, what business were you looking to work with them at? Is uh, it a new business that you're starting? It, it, would, be, it would be through uh, a hardware and tool shop. Hardware and tools. Uh, Big Pussy Lockpicks, they're specified as a hardware and tools. Ah, right. Mm. Yeah. They'd pro the thing is, oil filters would probably go under automotive if I were to, at least speaking I mean, I right make now, the like off the top of my head. Hardware and tools, right? All right, go ahead. I, I, well, I'm about to go to a meeting, so I'll call oh. you. You know what I mean? Like I could probably ar articulate it to be a hardware and tool. I think it could be both, to be honest. I mean, honestly, that's probably what I would do. I would add it to both. Yeah. Kind of like a little, you know, something like that. It's probably what I would do. All right. I would say. That way, if people bitch, it goes, uh, how come it's not an automotive? I'll be like, it is. Hey, Emperor. As well. Hey, how's it going? Okay, got All it. All right, let me, call you, let me call you back. Bye. Light the, the beam. <clears throat> light the beam. Definitely light it. Hey, Denzel. I'm going to kill this hey, motherfucker, Levi? Denzel. Who, who, are you, who are you talking about? I said not to continue. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. So I'm just going to take a seat here on my lawn chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Levi. Pretty good boss of yourself. Uh, I'm doing all right. Uh, why don't you just use a poly? Uh, <laughs> the guy I met, you know, no, no, used way. to have a little business shops. You know, they, I heard you were uh, looking for some people, uh, to build up kind of things. So I think it'd be a good uh, project, you know, maybe like a fifth round pick. Okay, build up poly, yeah, the Costa. Hey, how you doing, poly? Not so bad. Not so bad. Good to meet you. Apologies. I, uh, Levi here didn't really, uh, tell me who I was coming to meet. So, uh, yeah, good to you. Uh, I've seen your face around town, sir. Um, nice, nice work. Thank you. Uh, what, what, what are your specialties there, Paulie? Uh, well, right now I'm kind of, I guess I'm in a lockpick game as most recently, you know, uh, Levi here has done well You're enough to, uh, Bit of a salesman, yeah, have some sales skills, I guess you could say that. Uh, sell me a fucking lockpick then, asshole. Well, I mean, you got a car here? Do I got a car here? I don't know, find out. Well, obviously you need a fucking lockpick, you ain't got no car here, I mean, I didn't see a car pull up, obviously there's no Ferraris, nothing fancy around here, so I mean, how are you gonna get home? You got bus fare? Do I got bus fare? Let me see. I mean, looks like you got money, but... 
I ain't see no bulge in your pocket aside, but I see saw you maybe uh, you dress left a little bit there, but maybe you don't got a little locked there. I mean, I got, I, you know, I got a little bit for bus fare, a little bit. I see that. Okay, so you don't need no bus. Uh, well, you know, it's a dangerous place out here. You, you gonna get on a bus? Probably not, right? You probably want to travel discreet, guy like you. Yeah, it depends on the mood. Depends on the mood. You see, that's well, my I mean, white I... emperor parked out there. Pure white, a license plate unhinged. Unhinged. Yep. So you're more a sliding glass door type of guy. Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, you got your keys on you? Uh, do I got my keys on me? Of course I got my keys on. So you got your keys and you need a lockpick. I imagine you have a nice, uh, beautiful palatial mansion around here somewhere, but, uh, you know, what of if course. you lose your keys? You know, what if you need yourself a, uh, you know, a little side entrance or something like that? You got to sneak someone past the wife. I assume I'm you're divorced. married. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I'm divorced the club. two times. Two times divorced. Two times divorced. Didn't, that's didn't right. learn the lesson the first time. I guess it's, uh, you know, it's hot. You know, these ladies, they'd lock you up and you don't even know it. Now, two times divorced. Two times. So, uh, <laughs> all right then. Well, I mean, shit, my guy. I'm trying to tell you you need a lockpick. I, I guess I got a couple on discount here. You know, I got a half off just for you. What's Buy two, price? you get one free. Well, the price, I believe, is $2,500. A guy like $2,500 for a fucking lockpick? That's the price. You know, I would go down below there, suck but the my market dick price. At it? Why the fuck is it $2,500 for a single fucking lockpick? Well, it's very advanced. You know, it's got uh, blue LEDs all over it. So if it got blue it's got LEDs blue on it, you know LEDs. it's good. Yeah, blue LED on there. Why you know the good. fuck would I want a lockpick with blue LEDs? What are you having in the dark? You're going to be in the dark. You're going to be doing your lock picking. You're not going to have no uh, no vision. You're going to okay, be like, Okay, if I'm in the dark blue... lock picking, I'll just pull out a flashlight. You're going to have a flashlight. So you're going to have a flashlight and a lock pick when you have a blue LED on your lock pick. You got Why the one. fuck would I want a blue LED on my fucking lock pick? It's better than having a nice bright white light out there. You know, I would say red would be better in darkness if I was to choose. You know, I used to be, you know, a little military now and again. But, uh, you know, blue LEDs uh, doesn't draw too much attention. You know, it's not as bright. See. Uh, do you have any aspirations in this world, Paulie, or do you want to be selling lockpicks all your fucking life with LEDs in them? Well, my father can tell you I got aspirations, but unfortunately that got a little bit derailed. You know, I was a law student, but uh, now I'm just a fucking sales guy, like everybody else, I guess. You wanted to go into law originally? I did. I did. Why? Well, why, not... why didn't you go law? Well, my old man was a judge, and uh, you know he. Uh... <clears throat> He, uh, him and my mother didn't get along too well, you know, so there was some disagreements about what I should do with my life. Him and I didn't see eye to eye on a lot of stuff, unfortunately, so here I am, fucking broke on my ass, out of law school, selling lockpicks to a guy who's obviously got more money than God, so here we all are. <laughs> so yeah, I'm aspirational. I see fucking, you know, everyone's been saying to me, Levi, you can tell you this, how many people tell me how many money, how much money they got and how fucking worthless I am. You know, I shit every fucking two seconds. So I'm a little aspirational, a little chip on my shoulder, if I were to say, but I'm a worker. All right. Are and you shit hungry? For free. Fucking starving. You're starving. And you're looking to eat? Show me a buffet, my friend. I'll eat everything on that fucking table, if I you'll see. allow me to anyway. So your aspirations were formerly of law. You got no aspirations as of now. You got no nothing you're looking for in life. Yeah, I got lots I'm looking for in life. I need What's a that? fucking 10 on my arm. I need a fucking fast car. I need a little bit of cocaine. But I can't find a fucking straw to have, have the shit that I have on me right now. I traded for some gold down the street by a fucking clown looking girl who was scaring the shit out of me, to be honest. So a fast so. car? What are you? Are you what are you, a fucking cringe racer? Nah, I ain't no fucking race. I just like cars, you know, Mercedes, you know, fucking Lexus, anything German. Well, I mean, obviously Lexus ain't German, but anything German, really. You know, I like customizing cars, driving cars, racing shit. If I had the skills for that, maybe I'd made something of myself by now. Okay. All right. And you, uh, you're working for Levi right now? Well... <clears throat> I mean, he gave me some lockpicks to sell, and I haven't sold a single one yet, so I guess working is an interesting word, but yeah, I guess I'm working for Levi right now. He's a up-and-comer, you know? He's you got a burning. phone number? I do got one of them. Oh, let me, I want you to, you have a business card, or you just, you write yeah, down your no, number? I got yeah, I was going to tell you to you, but I was going to no, take my no, phone no. out. I didn't want to be impolite, you know, but uh, What I want you to number. do is I want you to reach out. I want you to pull out your business card. I want you to put your business card in my inner pocket, my suit jacket, okay? Levi, I ain't got no business cards. You got like a business card I could write on or something like that? I ain't no fucking 
I don't have no business yeah. cards. Yeah. I want my fucking. I chop cars for a living. You think I got a business card fucking handy? Just, 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 just to back I, my big pussy business card here. Here. I don't... <laughs> Here's my card. Oh, you got my coat. You got a fucking. You got a pen? I don't got no. I just changed clothes. You said I need to look nice, and said I need to bring a pen and a business card. I told you, we're me and my boss. We're me and my boss. You're not ready. I just changed my clothes. I have no car. What do you want? <sighs> Uh, uh, let me go. Let me go to the car oh, real quick. That's fine. No, that's fine. I can... Sure, you won't get the pen. Yes, get the fucking pen. I'm just trying to buy some time here. Jesus Christ, the uh, mayor I'll of the city. I'm standing in front of the mayor. You brought me here. You fucking... So, uh, you guys watching the uh, uh, the, the games? You know, uh, I don't. I mean, um, them kings, right? In four, probably at least. You know, probably they uh, they got Draymond finally. That son of a bitch. The only king I know is myself. Okay. Hey, at least AD is healthy, right? They got that going for them. Uh, the Lakers there, they got AD. He's, he's doing well, you know. It's going to be... Uh... Would you already fuck up with the Penley I mean, Sorry, sir. I mean, thank you. I'm, I'm glad to meet you. I'm just fucking sweating my dick off. It's very hot out here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Thank you. Here's your pen. Appreciate that. That's for you. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead. I see you. My yeah, left. Very, your My left, left pocket. Right. Your left pocket. Okay, In, that's very good. Inside of the suit jacket. Your, okay, inside of the suit jacket. I'm just gonna. It's an. It's an Italian. It's Italian. It's nice. I'm just gonna. Gonna get a little close to here. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna stick my little hand. In your pocket there. That's for you. Just gonna tuck it in there. A little tap tap. Perfect. All right. Well, now I got your number. Uh, in case I need a lockpick. Now I suggest you go sell some fucking lockpicks. Get out of my face. All right then. Nice to meet you both. If you got a lockpick, you can go steal a car. All right. All right. So what? Did you, what how long have you been working with him? Uh, about a week or so. Does he? Uh, does he do good work? Yeah, uh, I've been, you know, kind of like how you started me off, you know, uh, the material grind, and then I kind of promoted him to, uh, like this motherfucker. Stuff. Where the fuck did you find this guy? Levi? No, the guy behind Levi. Oh, oh. I, I didn't. Apolly? Yeah. How'd you meet him? Uh, met him at a mirror park, and, you know, he's had a good feeling about him, and, uh, you know, he's, he, he told, he's kind of did the thing when Denzel did, where I had to slow me a lockpick. Uh, felt like you, you could be a good salesman, you know? You got, you got the hustle. Jesus fucking Christ. What are you, where are you going? <laughs> Not a good impression? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what he expected. Oh, wait, did he take your car? Why did, why did he yeah, take yeah, your car? I think car? he took my car. I told him to go steal a car. Well, he did steal, he, he did steal a car. My car. Well, I guess that that is true. Yeah. How's your day been? Pretty good, pretty good. Your story, yours. Uh, yeah, I'm, I've been good. I got like 20 minutes in me before I go to sleep. You mind dropping me off at the guild hall? Uh, finally, get the fuck out of my car. Well, yes, well, sir, this yes. is Levi. What? I don't give a fuck. What happened to you? Why are you in a mood? We were out of the mood. That was, what the fuck was that, Denzel? What do you mean, what was that? He was just introducing me to somebody. Yeah, but introducing you for what? I think he just wanted me to meet somebody. Uh, he wanted to test him further, and if I ever needed any, like, an extra hand with, like, fucking anything. Cause... You trust this Levi guy that much? Yes. Okay. You, you, do you know how long I've been working with Levi? He said a year, right? I, he, I've been working with him for over a year. He, okay, okay. when I left the city, Speedy reached out to him personally and took care of him for me. Okay. okay. Th that's how trusted this guy is. You know, the only how reason... How do you feel about that conversation? I feel like that was a waste of fucking time. 
Uh, I mean, to be fair, I only went there because he wanted me to meet the guy, not for, like, any reason. Okay. I, it, it wasn't like I called him up and said, you know, I want to do this meeting, and uh, I want you to meet somebody, he, you know. I gotta buy an Emperor now. Fuck me. Well, you like this car? Yeah. The, weren't you just shit-talking it, like, two hours ago? <laughs> well, I was shit-talking the speed because I was trying to get up north, you know what I mean? If we're, like, cruising around the city, uh, of course, it's fucking amazing. I gotta, I, I'm trying to take allergy meds now to see if it helps me. Give me a sec. My God. Here's the thing, Lang. Sorry. I'm you you don't Sorry. like, uh, you know, you, you, you're very up top right now. You know, you got to deal with, like, all the business shit. People that actually will just be doing dumb shit, those are the type of people you need to meet. Like, uh, not dumb shit. But well, I understand that. I got to meet people doing dumb shit. When I meet a guy who's trying to get under my skin for the fucking basketball references, what I don't know, man, it really makes me not want to even get to know the motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. I don't know the guy. I don't know the guy either, to be sure. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's, not, it's not the reference of the basketball. It's just why are you doing that? You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah, no, I, I get what you're saying. No, I think Levi was introducing him to me because uh, he knows that I need material people. So I think anybody that he sees that's like... What the fuck do you need material people for? We literally shit materials, buddy. Uh, no, we don't, buddy. Yeah, we do, buddy. We do not ship materials anymore, buddy. Okay, you want to bet? I'm going to go down to Sionis right Harry now. Harry told me he checked Sionis for me the other day, and it was empty. Why? Well, what the fuck does Harry know? <laughs> he doesn't even know where the new stash is at. But, uh, yeah, I mean, hey, listen, if, uh, you know, have I met this Levi guy before? Probably. Jesus. You kill Levi in a heartbeat? Uh, I would kill him, yeah, but, like, okay. I, I would have to, I would, it, it, especially if it's for a good reason, I'd kill him. But he is I mean, extremely useful. You kill him for no reason. I'm not, obviously, it has to be a good reason, right? Yeah, exactly. He is... He is literally somebody that, I guess let me put it like this. If, if let's say that I ran Tijuana and Speedy didn't, he would be my cousin. Does that make sense? If, oh, yeah, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, damn. Like, like, damn. like, he would be my guy that I would pick for that. How have I never met this guy then? Uh, because Levi is very under the radar. I don't, you believe it or not, Levi has fucking millions of dollars. He does his shit legit. He literally runs one of the biggest lockpick shops in the state as well. Interesting, okay. He, Jesus. He, Lee, Eve hooked him up to get a storefront before anybody else because of like how much work he did for me with lockpicks. And he literally, it, he said he makes millions a week off that storefront. Wow. Uh, That's he, crazy. He, he's a really just all around and he's a fucking great guy. Why does he call me Emperor? Uh, because he joined the guild, so I think he did it. Oh, he, uh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, because okay. I think he joined the guild as of like a few days ago, so he started calling you Emperor. Gotcha, gotcha. empty what the fuck are you touching my shit what do you mean uh, this is not, uh, it's not I empty. You sh oh i thought you were showing me this this place oh we got about six thousand aluminum in here 400 4900 plastic 3600 rubber and i emptied this last night okay but this out. is all your shit 
Yeah, but I can I can fault you some of my shit. It's not my fault you put all your shit with Speedy. Speedy's never gonna give you the cut you deserve. Yeah, but I have yeah. access to all of Speedy's shit, so I'm just gonna take it. Cause we, we okay. Let's go see what he has right now. Let's go see what he has. <laughs> this this guy literally told me that I could take his materials whenever he wants because we share them. So okay. Where the fuck is oh right here. I'm not taking, by the way, you're trading. Remember that. <laughs> okay, so this is all speedy shit in here? Uh, if it says Barrio, oh, yeah. There's just an I voted pin. There's. Not... I don't see anything else. What do you mean? I all look at look at here. There's, there's like I see an I voted pin with with Sionis raw refined and S refined. I, there's I assume, nothing in there. I assume that's that's his. I mean, look. Well, here. it seems like uh, Speedy beat you to the punch, you know. No, no, no. There's materials, but there's no like Bari oil. I thought is what you said. Oh no, he probably moved it to a different stash in here then. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, I mean, I see okay. materials. Shoot. Oh my God! Don't tell. Me. Why is Lexi keeping Sionis raw here still? She's crazy. I gotta talk to her. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, but I mean, even then, like, even if I don't need it, like, it's still such an easy way to meet newer people to the city that aren't affiliated with people. That's like, true, yeah, that's a good point. Like, like that Marina lady that I met, she's now bringing me material, she's getting me oxy, she was pushing coke for me. I, I mean, like, it's literally just a, an easy hey, listen, stepping... I ain't questioning. I ain't questioning the way you find people. You always find good people. Yeah, yeah. I just, uh, we just got to be careful. Like, Levi, obviously, like, he seems like overly qualified, in my opinion, to be a minion. But... Yeah, no, no, no. He wouldn't. Yeah, I, I mean, I my point was more or less like I would already trust him. You know what I mean? Like, I already yeah. trust Levi with, with a lot, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, I, I wasn't it's, I wasn't expecting any of that, what she told me. Yeah, but, no, but that he, guy he brought, like, I, I, I will throw him in an ocean. Yeah, uh, exactly. Like, like right now. <laughs> yeah, I, but my point is, like, he's he's finding people for materials and f for people that work for him for lockpicks, and ultimately he worked for me for lockpicks. You know what I mean? Like he. Gotcha. He is very much like, uh, like I said, I, I say this to the guild all the time. Like, if I ever had a right hand man in this city, it was Levi. Is how, how cl close gotcha, I worked gotcha. with him. Our business gonna prove that, by the way. Uh, the la that's life one. It's yeah, it's the waiting graveyard, on crane. church, or everything. Okay. So uh, that's I also wanted to speak to Crane to see about speeding that up. Yeah, you like, probably do that. Like, how, where was I going? Well, uh, I don't know. How how sick do you think it would be? Because I, I know I was saying this earlier, but like, completely wiping out the the fucking graves graveyard and just having like blank spaces there for people when they die to get their the fucking headstones there. It would be so sick. That would be sick as fuck. Yeah. I need to grab some food. You know, one of the people that, that I do business with calls me the Pope already, which is fucking hilarious <laughs> to me. Because he said it's so hard to get a hold of me because I'm in so many meetings. <laughs> 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 yeah, fucking Solomon fell. He's a good guy. Oh, shit. I, I need to call you. Uh, I talked to her earlier. She, mo she said she was up really light so she might have went to sleep chat we're 45 away from 1850 subs and tier one is primers and oilers I need to grab some food. I'm gonna just ask this motherfucker right here. <laughs> yo, 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 good evening, good evening. Hello there, sir. Hey, I mean, can I get a just some fucking ramen, a tea, and a side, please? Ramen, tea, and a side, of course. Anything for you as well, sir? No, I'm good. I'm good. All right, I'll have that right up. Now, we, uh, we should bring up tomorrow. 
I, I mean, it's up to you, but at the Cerberus meeting? Because I think Leslie would have fucking great ideas for the lottery slash gaming commission. That's some shit I feel like he would love to do. Yeah, I just want to. I just don't want to pile this on with too much right now, but I think it is honestly could be a really good idea. Yeah. There you are, right there on tray for you, sir. Hope you have a good day. Glory the cock as always. Hey, Glory, Glory the, the cock. cock. How long have you been working here for? Ah, uh, a couple weeks now. Hell yeah, hell yeah. What's your favorite part of the job? Chat. Ah, honestly, Colonel said it'll like be the last ten subs, so we're thirty-five away. Here, even when thirty-five away from the sub goal. I find that to be a great thing. Also, thank you for the increase in receipts. Appreciate that. Yeah, how's that been feeling? Been feeling nice or what? Oh yeah, that feels a hell of a lot nicer. I mean, I was hell doing yeah. towing for a long time before this. This is way better. Hell yeah. Gotta take this phone call. The fox calling me. Who's this? Hello. Hello, you called me? Hey, Zach, how you doing? Have yeah, soon by roosters. Hello. I think that could have gone worse. Yeah, over here. Hello. Uh, see you soon, how you doing? Pretty good. Hey, Denzel, Denzel. Yeah, I want you to meet this fucking Zach guy. He's a fucking moron, but I like him a lot. Yeah. Harry. All right, I'll meet him when he gets here. Uh, oh, I was just gonna say that, uh, that, 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 you know, the, uh, what's it called? I didn't think, to be fair, I didn't think that guy would have shit himself like that. Yeah, yeah, well, you know. Hey, look, there's people in this world that, that are, uh, supposed to shine shoes. There's people in this world that get their shoes shined, okay? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. He's telling me he's a good, be a good grunt of, uh, Sorry about leaving you there. I don't think Lang realizes who you are. As if yeah, you, I've met, met Lang. I've met him like six times now. <laughs> Yeah. But you saw him in a different outfit, so that's probably why. Yeah, that's probably why. Yeah, I told him who you are to me, and he was, like, mind blown. So <laughs> I wasn't sure. All right, I just wanted to call you and check. Yeah, he he hooed me. Uh, that jogs his memory when Lexi got shot. I, I see. That, I see. Yeah, all right, all right. That might jog his memory, but... Uh, all right. Uh, yeah. All right, sounds good. I'll call you. I'll uh, I'll probably go to sleep here in the next ten minutes, so I'll uh, I'll talk to you. Going to sleep in ten minutes? Right, Why? Or right, later. Bye. Bye. You were making fun of me for it earlier today, at the servers meeting. Uh, all right, have fun. Uh, <laughs> have fun, buddy. What do you mean, have fun, buddy? Just have fun. Okay. All right. Hey, come to the hotel side. Hello. Oh, terrible. Sorry. Uh, this is the one he texted me, right? Okay. Also, what? Chat. The tier one is primers or oilers. Who? Marlon would be perfect, but someone's going on with Marlon Turbo. You, you should probably talk to him if you're close to him. He lost the fire. He's one of the most creative people I've ever met. Chat, 40, we're now 40 yeah, away, really 30 away from the Colonel dropping a 10 bomb, so really 30 subs away from the goal. Come back, Turbo, come on. You're good, you're good at doing that. All right, I believe in you. Come on. But I think it'd be perfect as well. Sojourn with the 10 bomb. 20 away. Yes. Kaz with the 5 yes. bomb. 15. I agree. All right. I don't want to get into this. Like, I want to get into so much shit. Like, I want to get into fucking making movies in this city. I think it'd be hilarious. Oh, some scuffed ass shit. You know what they were just nobody's talking ever about? Tried oh, my that. God. You know what they were just talking about? When you were talking to Larry, the rest of us were talking about? What? A Judge Judy style t like movie TV thing. Like, <laughs> because Anything, nobody like, ever wants to do civil studios. cases in this city. No, no fucking judge cares about civil cases. Lawyers fucking hate it. So imagine civil cases going to like a Judge Judy style shit. That should be amazing. Supposed to make a movie like Dylan was so good at that shit. I wonder if I wonder what the fuck happened to that guy. I was supposed to make a movie with him. Kitesy with the uh, fire. Leslie, I think it was Dean. He kind of just fucking disappeared, but he was really good. Like the game shows that we made back in the day, like Corporal Kid and shit, was so fucking good. It was cool too. It was it was really well done too. I remember it back then. Oh, it was so well done. I, I remember sitting into like the uh, the Corporal Kid. Um, uh, interviews. 
I remember sitting yeah, it was the, so good. It was actually so fucking good. I, I could literally go back and just watch it over and over again. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I wonder how hard it would be to pull off. But uh, you you know how there's like new pets in the city? Yeah. You know how you can buy horses now? Yeah. How hard do you think it would be to do horse racing out back of the, the Diamondback, Diamond Hand Casino? Wait, they already uh, added that to the pet shop? I don't know if it's already been added, but I saw that it's something that's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, there's no way they work that fast. Imagine how sick that would be, though. Like a horse race. Oh, that'd be amazing. And then, like gambling on horse races. Some actual Peaky Blinders shit, owning a horse. Yeah, that would a be race a, fix some fucking race fix some races like, well that's what i'm saying like if you did like a gaming commission to work out a diamond hand if we had like a gaming commission board and did like lotteries and ho eventually horse races that shit would be sick colonel with the 10 bomb Nine away. I tolerate this guy. He's a handful, but I like him. <laughs> What's up, Zach? Why the fuck are you wearing that hat in the restaurant? I already told you not to. Did you actually? Yeah. Because I'm security. I'm holding it down. Just, just, uh, just, just take the, the fuzzy with the five just bomb. Take the hat uh, what's going on? So, um, just wanted to ask a couple of questions. You know, I've been, um, I'm trying to seek purpose in my life the past couple of weeks. Um, okay, did your girlfriend uh, leave you? Uh, no, I left her. That's a big Lex with the five big, big point to prove that I left her first, and then she cried, begging me to take <laughs> her back, and which I did. I did take her back, and then I cheated on her, and then she broke up with me. So I, I don't Jesus know who left Christ, you in that Zach. in that case scenario, <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is. Oh my God! Jesus Christ, Zach. Anyways, yeah. continue. Yeah, I've been um. Yeah, I've been trying to find purpose and value, so I've been like doing a lot of meditating and shit like that. Um, you know, slinging drugs on the streets ain't my thing anymore. I've grown past that, although I do enjoy it. You know. Okay. A little a little meth cooking. You know, I'm a pretty good cook. Also, I'm a pretty good ramen cook. I should cook you a meal one time. But regardless, um, now a couple of months ago, like six months ago, I was asking Eve for a. Or like a internship. Internship in what? At Cerberus. Um, and so <laughs> like I became her assistant. Wait, why is that funny? Is that funny? Uh, continue. Uh, yeah. Um, so I texted her like every day, like, hey, if you need anything, let me know. And then I did my thing where I'm like day one of asking for an internship at Cerberus and like didn't really didn't really go anywhere. And yeah. um People don't really take me seriously, and I'm sick and tired of it. I'm hungry. You know what I mean? I want to go after it. I want to show that. Dude, the, I hey, can, him, this guy I can, and the my own. Kid are like. And what better? And you way told of doing me they're both than, like Harry's um, actual children you know, in character. I believe it. Growing, growing, growing within Cerberus. You know what I mean? Yeah, I I disagree strongly, but I do feel there's a place for you, uh, Zach. You go to church at all? <laughs> Twenty six ways yeah, next I'm on the hype you're a man of God. All right, listen. I need you to go get me 250, uh, 250 bottles of Oxy. <laughs> and then we okay. get <laughs> Okay. 250 bottles of Oxy? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get lean? Are you going to put that in some Sprite? Did I ask you to ask questions, up? Zach? Uh, no. All right, you going to do it then? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, give me 250 bottles of Oxy. And then give me okay. a call and you got it. Okay. I'll have that for you in like four or five hours, man. All right. Give me a call when you have it, and we'll talk. Okay. So right. that's, a, that's a no on the internship. Uh, this is the internship. We'll give me 250 bottles of Oxy. I'm on it. I'm on it, boss man. I don't like fucking weird, but I kind of like him. I like what the weirdness. The fuck? You know? He reminds me of Zakid. <laughs> Yeah, he's fucking weird. I like him. I, I like yeah. his energy. Yeah, he's, he, I, I like his energy, too. Ima imagine this guy in church. Like, imagine him in church. <laughs> saying amen and shit. Like, he's going to get so into it. Like, he's just coked <laughs> as fuck all the time. Yeah. Oh. Reminds me of Harry, honestly. He reminds me a lot of Harry. You know, Harry's, like, being goofy and shit. But, uh, 
I, just, I, I like so to point bad. out this guy was literally like, you know, I, I want to have more purpose than selling drugs. And you said, go bring me 250 bottles of Oxy. Yeah, because I think, <laughs> I, think he's trying to play, I think he's trying to play the angle where he's given up on that life when I know he hasn't. So, uh, but, but I don't think he knows that we're about to bring him deep into that shit, too. So he's got to pass. He just has to pass uh, a couple of uh, checks and balances, you know? Oh, holy shit. Yeah, I like Zach a lot. Trust me. Like, he's a handful, but once you get past all that fucking chaos, uh, you just need people like him. You know, it keeps that energy kind of weird in the room. You know, I, I love weird energy. Good weird, not bad weird. You know? Yeah. Nobody likes the bad weird energy. No, nobody likes the bad weird energy. That, that goes without saying. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I think tomorrow I was going to be around, so we really start kickstarting this church shit. I, re yep, I, really I, I think we kickstart the church shit. We cook on that. I, I, hell, I, I'd love to see, like, and we could start talking about other ideas too. Fucking get it all, mold, yeah. all get the roll ball rolling. I'm gonna go, uh, maybe talk to Eve and see if we can get a storefront in that church. Just throw it in there because this business is getting improved. So, you know what I mean? Might as well start it now. Uh, I think, um, where did you so you want it at the gentry this oxy? Uh, yeah, go throw it in the stash for the safe house door. All right, uh, the one okay, real quick, the one inside or outside? There's two uh, stashes. just do inside, you say. Like inside, okay. Inside the uh, house, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. All right, I'll uh, I'm probably I'm probably gonna sleep here, and then if I come back around late tonight, I'll do it then. I'll put it in there for you. All right, sounds good to me. Good All night, right, so. you got my see keys. You. you got keys in my car, right? Yep. All right. If you're around late, I'll be around. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. See ya. All right, chat. Um. Hello, mister. All right, I think, uh, yeah, I kind of, I'm, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna raid Blau for this. I'll probably go ch grab a drink and go, uh, go, go chill. Um, so yeah. I mean, sorry, it's a shorter stream. I wanted to be live before the restart. Um, but, you know. Shit happens. I slept in way more than I was expecting to sleep in, to be honest. I, uh, I was hoping to, to wake up at noon. And, uh, yeah, I woke up at 1.30. So, unfortunate, but hey, it happens. So, it's going to be a shorter stream day. We will make up for it because we will do it. So join the Discord. We can either do The Last of Us tomorrow. We can either do The Last of Us tomorrow, or we can do, um, or we could do some, uh, some like, uh, like some other characters. So. Go send, uh, go send, uh, go send Blau some love. I love you guys. Have a good night, um, and yeah, go send Blast some love, and we'll read him. God, I, I closed that on my fucking chat pop-up, and it's tilting me. Here we go, there we go. Alright, go send Blast some love, good night. This works. Fuck. Uh, podcast? Woo!